Boom! Oh. What is going on, everybody? Let me slide in. Let me actually get the chat back up before I fucking. If you're here, we don't know you're here. Someday, this will all be right here, so I don't have to do that anymore. But that'll be the day. Is the thing? Is our voice? Oh fuck! Audio working? Boom! Steve, is audio working? Please, please tell me. Yeah, we're needs it. Okay, like it's super loud. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Right, so, um, hey, everybody, I'm Saul Rose. These are my friends. Welcome to our uh, Dungeons yes. Dragons 5th Edition campaign, where we are going to be currently in the world of Prune again, in, my, in the main campaign. I didn't change the name of the thing. Good job. Go change your name. I got a story to tell. <sighs> He's going to tell you a story I'm gone. So, originally, I was supposed to work tonight, and I was really bummed about it because there's no reason for it. But then they realized that the set for the show we're doing isn't done, and I'm the only guy who builds it. So, they brought me in. I got the set built, by the way. Yeah. Sam. <laughs> no, but I built it. Yeah. It's all up. You it's not you safe at all. Huh? Oh, no. No, no. I sent okay. you a picture of the frames. It's it up in the air. It's attached to the floor. It's ready to go, except for you can't walk on it because it sways around way too much. Meh. Yeah. <laughs> a little more than meh. Um, <laughs> but it is what it is. Uh, anyway, so I was I was debating whether or not I should leave or if I should stay through while they did the rehearsal tonight and deal with all the props, things, and stuff that they're doing. Bodies. And... Uh, yeah, and, and I so I was, I was debating, I felt guilty, I'd stayed for about an hour and a half later than my shift, and my the woman who's in charge of it was just like, oh, I thought you left, and I was like, bitch, I could have been gone for an hour and a half? Fine, cool. I was like, all right, good, then I gotta get going, because I'm running super late, and she said, oh, for your game? And I, I like, really derisively, <laughs> and I was just like, and I looked at her, and I was like, Stacy. It's a social gathering between friends, <laughs> of which I've known for more than 10 years. It's a theatrical exercise, and it's entirely original. What do you do with your friends? And she stopped, and she went, fair enough. Yeah, <laughs> Take it. Yeah. Take it, I got that horn thing. We have social gatherings in which we partake in the very delightful exercise. drinks made by a mermaid with two tails. <laughs> <laughs> right. And don't you forget it. You're like, I skin things, Stacy. I'll skin you. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. Well, I've that escalated. <laughs> I'm waiting for your character to come back into this campaign with just, like, zombie flesh. Gross. Yeah, you wanna, you wanna 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 to get get I want to make some rot leather. <laughs> 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 All right. So, um, today's Ambrosia like a beef jerky. is Supernatural <laughs> Talent. I rolled a d4. And that's what we got. Supernatural Talent. So, uh, for 200 biddies, you can add a d4 to your... You can add a d4 to oh. player of choices... Rolls or uh, 300 biddies oh. is a D6. Um, with that, the giveaway is still going on. We have uh, more D&D related uh, stuff to give away at 200 followers or 10 subs. So that is uh, that's 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 a thing too. Tell it's your friends. So strong. Tell your friends. Get them in here. If you don't have friends. I don't have any of those things. When he said supernatural talent, wait, I thought wait, he was it friends. Like, or <laughs> was it biddies? <laughs> 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 so you have friends who play with them, I think, unless they're just random. All of which could be true. Oh, well, he was with a lady at the thingy. Where you That's friends, right, Scuba. Where are your friends? <laughs> well, if you, you don't tell have I'm friends, fully fucking awake. Just go the to thingy. the yeah. <laughs> lady thingy. Anyway, so, um, yep, sub, sub benefits include sub only Discord where you can hang out with us and be ridiculous as we play games or shoot the shit or talk about uh, old, old game stuff. Today at the end of the stream, we will be doing the talk back session. We didn't do it yesterday due to time constraints, uh, and Mondays we're not going to be doing it due to time constraints. Because um, real life happens. But we're still playing. But we are still playing on Monday. So if uh, you can't make it for Tuesday, or um, if you know anybody that's looking for a game to watch on Monday, come hang out. We do a rotating campaign between uh, Tiff and Darren. Uh, very different worlds and very different concepts, so it's fun. And very different okay. characters. And come join us. Very different problems. Oh. Well, that's all the same problems. Why are you looking like that at the camera? In two weeks, we're going to the beach, though. <laughs> 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 Maybe. In two weeks, we're going to the beach. Wait, and really? Yeah, we have a cruise. Yeah. Shit. Well, in Sonata. Oh, yeah. If you don't have friends, oh, just go to the beach. I'm so sorry. Invite random people. Yeah, I guess he, when he's there. I he guess, just wants to lay at my feet. I guess he got done licking my whole pants. Yeah, so am I, dude. Don't feel so bad. bad. Um, in my game, uh, Andy's character, or young, I don't know what you call yourself, his character wants to go to a beach. <laughs> So, because right, he's Tom, sick of adventuring, so we're you should start take calling a break. random shit. By all means. All right, mm -hmm. cool. So, um, anybody got anything else before we start? I think I hit everything. Giveaway, Ambrosia. I will not be here next week. You need to be here next week. It's important. I'm way important, don't no. I, I you bet it stabilize is. stabilize that bullshit? I can't. It's be, uh, I mean, I might be able to just shirk my duties and just fuck off and just be like, oh, I'm going to the thing again. Bye. That's what I did. I'm off on Wednesday now. Yay! Oh, really? 
doing? That's so we're, not tomorrow, but next. We're acting a fool. Next so, all right, I'll give that announcement too. So, Halloween, or any holiday actually that we play D and D on, usually involves a specialty scenario that only occurs during that holiday as a part of like the celebration. And I missed the last one too. Did you? Yeah. Maybe you won't miss Sorry, this buddy. one. You don't know. But um, because of that, it doesn't actually matter what the fuck they're doing. They're just gonna get, you know, shoehorned like, right into doing something <laughs> fucking ridiculous. Usually involving some fun NPCs. You get boom tubed somewhere else. <laughs> uh, usually repeat NPCs that they, you know, they, they as players are familiar with, but their characters may not be. But that doesn't matter because it's not like they can stop it from happening. So um, it's all fun. Uh, so definitely come next Tuesday, even time. if you didn't be able to catch this one or if you're yeah, watching the or whatever. Do, 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 do. Definitely come next Tuesday because the Halloween special is going to be absolute chaos. Just how be- often is Halloween on a Tuesday and what is that garbage anyway? Yeah, right. It ruins oh, wait. it. See, we're in Nevada, which oh, okay. means we get Halloween off because Nevada um, day. Unless it's on a Tuesday it's and then they go, eh, Okay, I was like, I can't see it that far and there's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, Bob Beach. Chaos. <laughs> yeah. yes. Oh, um, does Rocco know that we're on? Uh, he was on uh, Discord a minute ago. Yeah, last oh, time Discord he was cool. on Discord. He was on there for like three hours and he was like, hey, when's the stream supposed to oh, start? Oh, we're all oh, no. actually started on time. Oh no, I feel bad. Yeah, you want to put it up in Discord real quick? You have the app, right? Cool. Got it. Alright, so. Um, Damn it. I probably could have tweeted it. What's I probably could have tweeted that we're going live. I beat it by a fraction of a second oh. in posting that. I spelled streaming wrong the first time. So I <laughs> and and that's just, it. That was your fault. I, I wrote either, because it's text, I either write, we live or we live! <laughs> <laughs> Both totally acceptable. Yeah. <clears throat> I like those corn sticks. They're amazing. Oh, okay. They're fucking Satan's anus. <laughs> <laughs> there are two opinions on corn flavored <laughs> corn snacks. Yeah. Wow. Woo! Nice. <laughs> Shabow! That was on camera. Corn <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was off camera. Damn. Soul roast! Hit her in the face. Give me my corn Fuck stick. Please. Your corn stick. Ben, do you want another corn stick? Yes. <laughs> Mind your father, Is it half now? So this no. is chaos. This is what it looks like, guys. This is four right. sticks stream. Um, yeah. He is a Japanese snack I, I'm worried about getting hit, so. <laughs> Alright, so uh, that's everything. Um, so, quick uh, basic recap, we'll bring it in real quick. Is um, So, you guys got a story from a local man drinking in a pub about treasure and excitement and, I know where we are, and horrible man. memories. So you decided to uh, take his words and use them as a jumping off point to go and find your own adventure in the world. A literal jumping off point. A literal yeah. jumping off point. So you um, you guys waited till the next morning, you guys head out. It was about a, uh, yeah, the slowest fall ever. <laughs> the, um, you headed out to, uh, you exited out of the south of town, head to the Enteloy Crags where uh, it's a popular cliff jumping spot for youth. Um, idiots, got it. Idiots, idiots. Well, if you jump off in the rocky parts, yeah. Um, you guys hung out until... Well, you guys didn't hang out. No. Uh, you almost drowned. I One did. of you almost <laughs> I 50, did. 50% of you almost drowned. ultimate hanging out. 50% of the people that went to have adventure almost drowned. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, two of them, they scoured the, the undersea portion of the cliff face, and you guys found uh, the very well-hidden tunnel that leads into the, into the rock itself. There's uh, a weird thing about bars, too. Yeah, there was a, there, you guys, during your initial uh, check of the tunnel, you guys triggered a trap Weird. that closed the bars down, and then s- some harrowing uh, exchanges took place as Mom was drowned, um, but eventually was ultimately freed. Gotcha, buddy. Was the, the, the effort of a bunch of people saved him. And uh, so you guys waited for low tide around 8 p.m. ish. You guys waited for uh, ultra low tide. Went down far enough for you guys to walk into the tunnels, which was considerably safer. I want to give you those. Then you guys walked <laughs> another about an hour <laughs> through this cylindrical sort of uh, tube, and you guys made your way into what appeared to be an ancient shrine of the sea god, the great serpent god. Um, after uh, perusing in there and finding some odd uh, things and dirt-covered stuff, you guys uh, were looking for traps. You guys found some riddles. Uh, you guys were working through the riddles when you encountered the supposed uh, resident of the cave itself, an individual by the name of Marwin. And then you guys unfortunately discovered the riddle prior to him being ready. 
Um, and because of that, you opened a secret tunnel into the the uh, seaside oubliette in the main city of Vitella, or beneath the main city of Every Vitella. Every time you say that, I'm like, boy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's hey. immediately. Um, You're in me. Seaside Make boy. <laughs> Don't you know it. <laughs> it sounds so nice, though, the seaside oubliette. <laughs> it sounds like a resort. It just sounds, it sounds like, like a, a poorly strange type of octopus. Yeah, or I think it sounds like a poorly named cafe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, please. It's like a hipster cafe. Yeah, um, I mean it really like is a race. Race. It's a very piss poor cafe. Yeah, an oubliette. All I have is fish, and he doesn't give you any out. So as soon as you guys managed to get the uh, the door open, you guys wanted to run off into what you presumed was adventure, and you were uh, sorely mistaken as the individual named Marwin revealed to you that he was guarding this passageway. Um, and he transformed into a large wear shark to fight you off, or to attempt to fight you off. Uh, there was no. We declined. Yeah, declined yeah, the fighting part. Probably good. <laughs> he had no, a big, thank you. He had a big toothy <laughs> moi that did not seem very uh, friendly. So uh, he blocked the passage, and then he was, uh, before he got the opportunity to try to uh, push you guys out of the cave and get rid of you, uh, presumably whoever he answers to, exited into the chamber, a tall, rail thin, sort of gaunt featured. Uh, individual who seemed way too plucky and happy to have just walked out of a prison. Um, and as celebration, he offered you the opportunity to run we for your lives. Well, to, 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 to amble out. out. To amble out with a, uh, a certain level of <laughs> just leave. Yeah. expedition. Um, so you guys, yeah, you guys uh, exited into the cave, taking up uh, taking up his offer. Um, we and had an you guys, awkward sleepover. You guys did have a very awkward <laughs> sleepover. Where you all just stared at each other, <laughs> except Vader was uh, uh, just rambling to the. Yeah. End. <laughs> I did try and ask him for food, and that one bad. You, you tried to buy food off of him. Yeah, and he was just like. Fuck you missed yourself. a prime opportunity to have an NPC of Jabberjaws in your game. That comes later. Oh, my sentient shark. <laughs> Crime solver is later. Stop ruining my NPCs. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let him tell a story, God. <laughs> ben, um, how's it feel? The Kindle, by the way. If you want to try it out, the Kindle. The oh, okay. Thank you. I was like, I thought he said candle. I heard. I, 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 I couldn't tell if I heard a candle. He just pulls out a candle and it opens up. Or he just grabs. He's like, the white. Delicious. Yes. Um. Everybody hurts. So this is it good? No. It's you not. Can, it's got a long cord, though. You said you can try it later when it's charged. Stop yelling, there you go. man. All right, so um, that was where we ended. You guys had exited into the tunnel, and Ma took it upon himself to run. We I caught something then, today. Uh, yeah, I was, I was so you guys exit into the tunnel. From beyond, you can hear the faint uh, echoing sound of voices as it travels down that uh, that little tunnel, and Ma just takes off. Once he crests that little like <laughs> ladder, he just goes <laughs> and just runs. Um, I think I followed suit. Yeah, he's the exact same uh. thing. <laughs> Song gang joined him. <laughs> I'll be the last one out. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> the water's gonna hurt. <laughs> <Run away. laughs> I'll I'll carry you. Yeah, I'm guessing everyone's exiting together yes. in some form or another. <laughs> no, um, I'm gonna stay in a fight. Let's do this. <laughs> so the the trek is about an hour, and what you're noticing as you uh, exit out the the tunnel, it, it's a it's a long sort of like just jaunt, you know. You know, 60 minutes of just solid walking. And uh, as you do, you notice that the further out you go, the water is beginning to creep back into the uh, into the uh, tunnel itself. So after about about an hour, it it's pretty much up to your knees. Well, for you, it's a little bit taller for our shorter races. <laughs> well, it's that. But for the rest of you, Mountain like, you you're wading basically through... Zongek, you're wading basically through like waist high ocean water. I'm just screaming. <laughs> and uh, you are also wading. I'm close my pretty. mouth. And then uh, the rest of you mouth. are trudging through uh, <laughs> faster and having less difficulty. Um, um, I want to make the the uh, statement. I would like to watch for that fucking button he pressed on the floor. We found it, and it was already depressed though. Oh yeah. Yeah. It doesn't yeah we found it. I, I would have told you about it. Cause yeah, we talked about it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I didn't. Well, because he said he didn't see any bars when he came in, so I mm. figured they might have gone down, and I don't want to really press it. No, he was a liar. Oh wow. Well. <laughs> Nothing he said was true. Oh well, shit. <laughs> um, zero things. Well, those were his fish. Those were his fish. Yeah. That's true. Were they? <laughs> and we couldn't have. Maybe he stole them from fishermen. <laughs> <laughs> that makes them his. The ocean didn't approve of this. 
<laughs> this is not. Uh, um, yeah, you guys just rolled really bad on your insight. Because I was very disappointed. He rolled like a 12 for his, like, <laughs> for his fucking yeah, I think deception. I got a there was like 3, 9, and like 11, I think was the closest. I didn't and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> he rolled a 12. <laughs> um, he's so he's sneaky. A, he's the greatest mastermind. <laughs> yeah. I was literally looking at it and I went, fuck. <laughs> I should have made this charisma higher. At least give fucking proficiency. Whatever. It works. Um, things you don't think about. Um, so, you guys uh, wade through. The water begins to sort of pick up. And as you exit out the tail end of the tunnel, uh, popping out into the... Um, oh, what up, Huso? Oh, Huso. Um, as you guys exit into the uh, into the actual... Uh, out of the tunnel and into the open air, you are greeted by, at this point, probably up to about your chest. You're pretty much wading, dog paddling through, trying Aww. to get out. Um, and you are just walking along the bottom as the water has hit well over your head. You guys I make your way up to the constant pace. <laughs> and it'll be slower than the rest of them. <laughs> Mine, it's just haphazard fucking doggy paddling with... Like one of those desperate dogs who wants to get out of the water. Yeah. Just like climb on your friend. Having, having been my running away from danger mate, I'm going to like just kind of like... Pick him up the water. I got you, so he's still he's dog still paddling. paddling. I, just, I got you. I'll, I just grab onto struggle. his nugget and wrap my legs around his neck go... <laughs> oh, it's so cute! Oh god, he's raging! Oh god. Yeah, pretty... set off like a... Yeah, just hit your, your bones uh, in your head. You're so a dandelion right now. Oh. <laughs> that is one of the things. So, off topic. Oh god. Where is this going? <laughs> no, I was playing uh, Shadows of War. And uh, one of the NPCs, he's a quest giver that you fucking recruit into your army. And he's like, oh yeah, there's a Metton. And he's like, I just want to be part of the fight because I just want to pop one of his heads off like this. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. I'm like, and I just laughed so fucking hard. And I'm like, oh, that's Darren from fucking uh, Overwatch and shit. The guy uh, that plays uh, Sprite. Yeah, Sprite. Yeah. Is yeah. It? Okay. Yeah. Right. yeah, he does really big, gruff voices for a lot of shit. He's cool. He's cool. So, um, you guys make your way along the sort of embankment, walk basically up to the beach where you, you know, dry yourself off. It's a, it's a nice <laughs> sunny morning. There seems to be sparse clouds. Roughly about 80 to 90 degrees outside, so you feel like you probably will dry relatively quickly. I and feel I like that was a foreboding waste of time. I don't think it was a waste of time at all, Theta. Uh, we learned a lot of valuable information. How much treasure did you get? <laughs> I am currently saddled with the greatest treasure life. <laughs> that sounds like a depressing answer. And I almost I, lost I it. I lost my hook and fork <laughs> because uh, the fish, 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 fish guy wanted it. We do a new one. I'll press the digitation you to I mean, we learned a lot. That's the digitation in his face. We learned a lot. I almost drowned. Blow dryer. Um, yeah. You know, Celiana learned about rebreathing. Um, we learned <laughs> that. Learned about what? Rebreathing. What's that? When a person and another person that breathe oxygen, you know, lock their their breathing tubes and recycle that air back and forth. Hmm. Ma tried to bite hmm. me. It's, so I pushed no, him away. Yeah. Okay. Well, that <laughs> Zongak learned also that rebreathing is a thing, although he's not fairly familiar with it. More importantly, we learned that the thing that has scared at least me during my childhood is not only real, but it is currently within walking distance of me. He didn't seem that scary. Water. He seemed creepy. Oh, the guy. I mean, I'm not sure about the rest of you, but that was definitely my childhood warden that kept me straight. Although St. Nicholas, promises of St. Nicholas during the Frozen Moon Festival held, but... I'd say keep yourself straight. Who is that? Nightmare Prince is terrifying. Oh yeah, that one. I thought you were talking about Shark Guy. See, the most terrifying thing to me always in my life has been Oblivion. You know, I feel like most people would agree with you. <laughs> Not <laughs> inaccurate, but in, in, in no, my no, case, at, least, <laughs> at a young age, I was informed that the Nightmare Prince begets oblivion for naughty children. Oh. So, as a harboringer of such. Brush your teeth. <laughs> fucked. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, Zong, or no. They just gonna brush the worst his teeth. Like ever. Bonus, though. Now we can go take care of this. Oh, yeah, we oh that's right. People were in danger and we ignored them. For a whole day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Her face. <laughs> Let's. Alright. All right. Should we go straight there or should we hit the Adventurers Guild first and see if someone else has done it? 
Did we learn about um, if it gets completed? If this? Oh wait, no, we have to go anyway because yeah. our names aren't on the books. Oh. Correct. You're not wrong. The only person is. So we should go by the Adventure Guild. That sounds like most haste. Oh, isn't your name on the card? Capital idea. No. I thought he signed. No, he refused to sign it, and you just signed it. Okay. He was like, "I'll take a copy, thanks." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember? Did you sign it? I didn't sign it. Okay. Good. Nobody signed it. I remember. No, she signed it. Here was it. That's she the difference the between I read the user end agreement. I click OK. <laughs> <laughs> I think I agree. Give me my iTunes. Yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> whatever, right. whatever. I don't care. So you guys climb the embankment, uh, make your way up to the actual road itself. This well-beaten path that kind of just you know uh, heads all the way back to the the city itself. Even from this distance, about an hour out, you can still see the city. You know, um, in all of its little glory and little what kind of Lego-like streets does the structures. City have? Huh? Concrete streets. Uh, no, uh, streets? they're earthen or cobblestone are the two main street types. Cobblestone yeah, in the cobblestone, nicer area. I want to take my shoes off. And- not stand out. Out of them. Fair enough. All right. So you guys uh, climb up onto the embankment. You noticed uh, to your left now would be the large field of. I'm gonna uh, copy him. Tall grass. <laughs> Take my boots off. Shake them and watch the sand come out. Yeah. Huh. I get it. <laughs> um, you know, <coughs> sparse trees and then eventually giving way into the the mountain range itself. Um, on the right side, you can see the waves coming in. You can hear the call of seagulls. Um, you see the occasional uh, rustle of the grass out on your left hand side. Indications that there's probably creatures that live out here. Oh, neat. I'm gonna like hover next to Maul. Whoop. Hover next. Whoop. You guys side next to each other. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay we'll resolutely walk at the back. Okay. Um, so you guys make your your slow but steady. It's about nine in the morning uh, when you start your journey into the city itself, and so. After about an hour or so's walk, you find yourself. It's a little bit faster than the tunnel version because the tunnel version winds and you know water and stuff. But uh, this slow jaunt takes you right up to the southern exit gate that you left from. So you find yourselves walking directly into the uh, slum district as you did before. And upon uh, upon entering the gate, you're welcomed by the mass of time-worn homes. Again, these structures uh, seem stressed against their supports. They bow outwards, scarred and splintered all over. Their canvases are stretched from nearby buildings, creating awnings and tents, and people sleep in the streets. Um, but it seems like right now, at you know 10 in the morning, a lot of the streets are being emptied. People are probably going to whatever day job or work that they can find. So a lot of the streets are, there's elderly people and there's children running around just rampant. Um, uh, Timmy's mom going to the dark side bar. Everybody watch your coin. You notice, uh, you do notice there's a couple of kids from alleyways that kind of like eyeing you. They watch you pretty intently as you go. The idea that they probably want to... Do I notice these kids? Yeah, you probably see them. I will wait for them. I do. They're the kind of like, oh, no. like go back there. They're like, so the stocks today. <laughs> really good. I saw the girl at the bar. She looked nice. I'm really bad at small talk. <laughs> I don't think he believes me. Um, oh, I don't know why they're so shit. rough. They smoke a lot. <laughs> um, Shut up, Gregory. <laughs> so, you guys find yourself... Um, Basically following the main uh, street, it curves around um, to your left, where you are basically pressed up against the dividing wall between the District Arcanum and the Slums District. And as you walk down that pathway, you find yourself entering the porthole to the Market District. As you guys enter, you do notice that uh, a number of the guards kind of like eye you suspiciously. A group of adventurers traveling through the slums. Um, wood looks you know, semi-suspicious. But they do watch. They seem to keep probably watching like everybody that comes through. Uh, make sure that people aren't here to like steal and stuff. And you find yourself inside the market district. Yeah. Uh, you go down that main street. I want to go uh, check on my jewelry that I had made first. Okay. Um, so, market district is alive as always. The streets are densely packed with people moving about uh, with their own agendas for today. Uh, however, um, you had you immediately bank left because as soon as you enter that wall follows all yep. the way around to the event uh, to the adventures and building. The rest of you going and you're gonna head straight into the middle of the town. Yeah, I'm gonna go get my door real quick and meet him there. Okay. As we park, Raw, well, you want me to sign Thank for you, you or just wait to get there? You can sign to me. Copy I'm that. You done okay. before? Uh, oh God. Jewelry or what? Who's going where? So just you uh, or everyone going to the adventure skill. Yeah, Same. I go there too. Gotta go she see has Maddie. made oh. too. So yeah, do you want to go and? I just picked up Pearl. Oh, you did? Okay. Oh, I thought she had something. I mean, I need to go get yeah. something else back in waiting. Okay. okay. So, so um, I had something made, but I'm going to see if these people are dead yet. So you had <laughs> you had uh, straight through the center of the, 
the city through the main thoroughfare of the Monolith Street. The rest of you, uh, Van Kalefs, will start with everybody else because you guys will beat uh, him there. Um, you guys crossed around the corner. You see a uh, well, three-story building, thick sort of glass, uh, thick structural supports, um, tiled roof. You guys pop open the, the entryway door where you can see um, Madeline works seemingly solo today. Uh, the fire is crackling and alive. The posted board is empty, save for a single leaflet nailed straight in the center. Um, it seems positioned, like she probably took She's some time. Is she to standing across the room right in front of it, just seeing if it's straight? It. Yeah. No, she is behind the counter currently. She seems yeah. to be, you know, milling about trying to get things organized. She's and had a whole day stuff. As you guys approach or enter the the building, that warm sort of air hits you, and the comfort of this establishment is most clean. Um, she kind of like perks up. Uh, you can notice that she's just kind of like fumbling with paper to try to keep herself busy as there's nothing in here currently. Ms. I'm at a... Hello. Uh, yes, everyone. How are you doing? Good. Which one is this? Is this short, uh, round frame, short uh, hair? Plumbing. Madeline? Yep. Big, thick glasses. Yeah, I have a note that, Bamira. that says Madeline. Bamira and, and Madeline. Plump. <laughs> <laughs> I will uh, go to the board. Hello. Yes. She's we got plump. trapped in a cave. She's an elderly Ooh. woman. I'll Not go to the board and check that uh, posted. It is that one. Bring it up to the counter. Oh, excellent. She takes it from you. She pulls out her comb, slams it on the counter with like this heavy thud. It looks like she kind of like lost the curtain there. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> she jumps. <laughs> okay. Opens it all the way. She flips to the page where you can see that your name is written in there. Um, it's the last entry. Awesome. She begins to get everyone's information and copy it down, at which point she takes the post it on the board. She stamps it, sends this arcane shimmer through the whole thing, and then she... Thank you. Anything else I can help you with? Uh, no, did I sign for I signed for all. Oh. And with that, we will be good to go. We'll take care of this as soon as possible. I'm going to look at the board and see if anything else is in oh. Okay, no. just, no. just the one. Okay. For now. All right, uh, Maddie, could you tell people not to go looking for Gregory? Because there's a lot of angry water. And Oh, yes. And there's uh, The cave down. we got trapped in wasn't by anything... <clears throat> Malicious, really. It was water that trapped us. And if people go exploring that cave, they will die. She just kind of looks at you. There's a cave. People say there's treasure in it. Drunk guys talk about it at bars. Greg. Like, there is a there is a depth to that stare. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, if you hear anything, let them know it's a death trap. She kinda and like, that's it. She kind of, like, takes her little, Nothing like... at the end except a sad statue that's not worth anything. She, uh, takes out her notes. She's, like, kind of taking notes. And then I just get do context it. clues. She legitimately has no idea what you're doing. There's a guy that does that. And oh, he's Bert. Armed. I know Bert. Yeah. <laughs> yes, the cave that he tells people that Gregory died in is real, and it is also about a one hour long jaunt. It's very deep. She takes notes. Also, Sorry. it goes Sorry. into a Oobler prison. Supposedly. What? But regardless, if anybody comes in asking about it, just inform them it's a death trap and they should stay away from it. Let's see, let him know today. <laughs> it's at uh, Eddie, <coughs> I want to say Adam, 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 but the name of that Japanese dude that's all about Edamame. Yeah, Edamame. I want to keep saying it's that point, that's but food. I know it's not. Yeah. <laughs> food. Entoloi. Entoloi. Craig. Craig. You said it leads into the Edamame's crab. Prison? It, something about, uh, Oubliette. Uh, That's the name of the prison in town. Yes. Oh, also a greasy guy came out of it. Supposedly there's a connection there, but we yeah, weren't did able to Did you tell the guards? That. Not yet. We were going to see if these people were dead yet. I don't know. I know. We came to pick this up, and we'll report to them before we depart. That was the plan. We're also, always our first priority. Also. <laughs> did you know, I know right? fish people? People? Yes. There's fish people. They look like normal people and then they turn into big fish. I don't know anything about that. They're all predators. <laughs> that means two things. That means two things. <laughs> uh, she, uh, she seems confused. But she does seem a little panicked. The idea that somebody walked out of the prison, that concerns her a little bit. Especially not oh, through an a sanctioned exit. Yeah. Probably not a good thing. 
At least from her perspective. I am super sure that even the guards swept the entire Uglia, they probably wouldn't find it. Unless they got MSI involved in that shit. Don't think but. you're going to make her feel better by saying that. No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, also, <laughs> I mean, is like is lycanthropy something that people typically are familiar with? Um, I wouldn't say easily identifiable information, but yes, if you went to like the Hunter's Guild, they would probably know. And well, there's, probably, just, there's probably myths about it. Like, we have myths about werewolves. Yeah. I that's want the, to be able to convey to her that like it's not like, super terrifying, but I don't want to be like, yeah, it's a werewolf shark. Cause... Make faces. <laughs> uh, you would know about lycanthropy, but... The necessity that that creature is necessarily like yeah. anthrope doesn't. Really, there's many creatures that can just yeah. change. Yeah, and there's shape. tons of other like. It could, it could also be a wizard and yeah. just weird polymorph, <laughs> <laughs> or just a really, really yeah, poorly right. executed polymorph. <laughs> 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 but I guess this is what I am now. Shockhead. <laughs> like Megan. I love that movie. What the fuck am I? <laughs> um, uh, I'll, I'll be right, right back. Can I? Go. I'm going to go to where the jewelry store robs. Okay. okay. So, I don't follow her. Nope. Um, as you guys exit out, you got everything you need. Yeah, you notice scared. as you're leaving, she's writing up a note. She seems kind of like <laughs> writing up something. Uh, at which point she folds the letter up as you're leaving and like slides it into oh, okay. the mail slot. And it's, it's, yeah, it's going to the guards. Okay. I'm uh, oh, going to sit out I front for a little bit her. until these guys come back. I'm just going to empty out the boots. Okay, you clean yourself up a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to look for one of the shiny men. In our immediate vicinity, as I wait. Oh, yeah, I'll keep an eye out for guards as well, following her. Um, your guys are going to pass by the portal to the to the slum district, oh, which there are guards there. Okay. <laughs> the <slum laughs> They're meanies. Um, no, I just it's that's way too soon. I meant like later on. Okay. <laughs> I, mean, I didn't like, want to put that much effort, effort in. No, it. I don't. <laughs> I don't see how it's that big of a deal. Okay, so like, for you and uh, Theta doesn't care. I would say you're you're kind of like maneuvering through people, you know, kind of. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. People are walking by. They carry large baskets of goods that they seem to be trying to uh, get from one place to the other. You occasionally get the bray of like a of an animal, and you see somebody like carving like a sheep <laughs> by the by like tethered. You know, uh, it oh, seems to be a oh. pretty busy day here in the in the market. You said carving a sheep. Though. Yep, carving a sheep. Yeah, yeah. I was just like, what the fuck am I watching? Over. I just picture like, a guy with a sheep on a leash trying to pull it into an alley. Like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna die me up. <laughs> All right. So, um, <laughs> as you as you as you kind of hit that middle point, uh, the middle of uh, Monolith Street, uh, you notice that further up, as you kind of try to get a good distance, you can notice further up people start to move. Um, like the group, the actual like crowd is getting out of the way. Mm. You of notice? Us? No, of somebody else. I know. <laughs> Yay! Uh-huh. Um, important now. People bow their heads respectively and wait patiently for someone or something to pass before continuing around uh, on their normal journey. People smile and wave overhead. You can see some kids like jump up on like the little porches to the to the shops and they look. They kind of like try to get a peek. They stand on tippy toes and as you uh, as you watch, you kind of. Are you? I'm gonna be watching the end. You see it as well as you kind of catch up. I wouldn't say make a perception check. Eight. Eight. Sure. You cannot seem to find uh, Ra yep. anywhere. Or nope. Sheen anywhere. <laughs> so, as you watch, uh, the crowd finally parts closer to you and you kind of slip in with the uh, crowd this part. And you are greeted by what appears to be a uh, deeply ebon-skinned woman uh, finally appears amongst the crowd. She smiles to them. She greets them formally, waves uh, very elegantly, you can say. Um... She smiles with a, a wide mouth of pearlescent looking teeth. Her body is meticulously painted in abstract designs of varying colors, almost like every color of the rainbow over pitch black skin. Um, sorry. Uh, she has long white silk like hair pulled up into a, a ponytail held in place by a thin silver strand that wraps around her forehead and extends down, uh, her hair extends all the way down to about the middle of her knees. She wears a light black, nearly transparent bedla, which you recognize as uh, basically a sort of belly dancer outfit. It has a, a brassiere that's wrapped around the neck and around the back. Um, it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> um, she has a uh, sort of waistband sash, uh, thick and comfortable looking, that goes into those uh, those long like harem pants, the uh, puffy at the bottom. And all of this material seems to be this almost like nearly transparent jet black color. And against her form, it's kind of hard to see through it. Um, uh, Sometimes not being able to see makes it better. <laughs> each of each of it's rimmed in like these silver and gold sort of ringlets that jingle slightly as she moves. Uh, 
lithe like form, this sort of like very smooth uh, jaunt jaunt that she has through. And uh, over her shoulder, she has this transparent uh, shawl that she holds uh, in place. And she she got against opaque fabrics, huh? <laughs> what? Like, what she got against opaque fabrics? <laughs> It's a comfy thing. She wants to flaunt it. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. You got it, flaunt it. Um, she got it. Oh, she got it. She got it. That hangs loose <laughs> in her hands. It. She um, she is flanked on two sides by two males that stand motionless at her side. Their bodies are decently built and riddled with scars. They have dark hair that's pretty much matching. It's cut into this long sort of just uh, obscuring the face. Their heads are kind of down. Um, and around their necks you can see this bronze glimmer of what appears to be like a collar. And that collar glows with a faint sort of magical energy. And as you trace it down to their wrists, they have uh, these thick sort of manacles with no chains that also glow with that same sort of faint teeming of magical energy. Um, these individuals, you, you get the sense, would probably be pretty handsome if they weren't like kind of like scarred up and they, they seem almost slack-jawed in the way that they stand. Just blank expressions. Um, they wear no shirts. Around their waist is this thick uh, black and gold rimmed sarong that just covers about their waist like a, uh, like almost like a tribal kilt or skirt. They wear no shoes. Uh, bare feet that look thick and muscular um, stand on the, uh, the cobblestone here. They flank her on both sides. And as she walks past, she kind of eyes everybody in the crowd, nods to people. About her, is it? Continues her way. She wants to see you. Um, and you will see her as well. She's like, she bound to me. Yeah. Um, so the crowd is splitting? Yes, they're getting out of her way. I'm going to look around very confused by that in the <laughs> middle of the street. So do any of those big guards have maybe like gunshot wounds or mm, some grenade pins? What? I'm just curious. <laughs> no, why? From that one time we decided to go into a book. Oh. No. Don't take my rings! <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, no. Um... They stand there, uh, yeah. uh, yeah. So, sorry, I was fucking, <laughs> my brain went backwards for a minute. Um, as she passes you, specifically, mm-hmm. you notice her eyes kind of like, she's just kind of scanning the crowd, and then she looks, <laughs> and then she kind of, come here, dear. Ooh, get your ass over there! Keep bowing. <laughs> <laughs> Very awkwardly. Yeah. Uh, she seems to smile at your yeah. uh, Fidget. call it fidgetiness. Um, as you approach, a lot of people kind of give you a wide berth. But you notice everyone that's kind of behind her, they just go about their business. Yeah. They, they greet in their, back polite, to their lives. But they just go back to their lives. But not people. They're not waiting. Go, like give it like a little bit of room. I'm just like nervously look around at them too. Uh, people kind of looking at you, confused. A number of them, they you know they do their their nod, their wave, they greet, and then so you're currently encircled by random strangers. Yeah. Uh, in the middle. At is which this point, a nightmare. It's <laughs> <laughs> a nightmare prince. No. Welcome, welcome the nightmare prince. Um, so as you stand there, she kind of takes a moment to very gracefully encircle you for a moment, and then she just uh, kind of like leans in a little bit too close for comfort, and she's just like, "Who are you, dearie?" Um, um, my, my name is uh, Celiana Petronel. And where are you from? Um, I'm from South Theridon. Uh, it, it's a small village. It's not um, big. Uh, it's outside. It's part of Theridon, but it's, it's small. My hair's on a farm. I'm not sleeping. <laughs> she kind of stares bemused at your at your homegrown uh, cleavage. Got it. <laughs> They're not farmers. They just own they own the farm. Uh, and I, I don't work on the farm. I just, well, what do you do here? Um, well, I'm ad- adventuring right now. I was a librarian before, um, but now I'm. I could use a librarian. Okay. Um, she got a deep voice. I don't know your filing <laughs> system, though. Um, I like them. Right, do, do you know what kind of filing system you have? Because we have a different one. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I could try. I could probably figure it out. Um, I can she shakes it. her head a little bit. She's like, dear, I'm being coy. Oh. Have you ever thought of um, more extravagant business? Uh, wait, my, my father's, a, um, he deals with the farm and he, he sells things that I, I don't, I, I don't know. Hmm. She kind of puts her hand out, uh, like almost expectantly. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little bit. I'm not like. <laughs> to, like shake your hand. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys going to touch like this? Y'all can see that camera. That was, that was awkward. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, 
That was, was amazing. That was the goal. <laughs> she looks at you <laughs> confused. Oh. It's so beautiful. If you ever need work, please come see me. Okay. Uh, where do I see you at? At the Delirium House. Oh, um, at, uh, we, uh, a friend of mine wanted to go there, but um, we don't, they said we need access, uh, the guards said we need access from some nobility or um, something like that. Do you have this like a, pa- a paper or like a, um, or a, a card, some kind of cards? Do you have <laughs> She shakes her head and no. <laughs> and, then, and then as she kind of like looks, she's like, oh, she's the mistress. If you have her interest, please, of just the house. send me a letter. Okay. Oh. What is your name? Um, I am Madame Vena. Vena? You just got talent scouted, yo. <laughs> when you get there, there's going to be a big black leather couch How do you spell it? and a couple of cameras. B-H-N-A. And one really gross dude. <laughs> Guy with the sunglasses on. Yeah, you gotta be famous, don't Chewing you? Chewing gum, yeah. What if I give you 5,000 chick rounds? His name is Chaz. We <laughs> lose <laughs> cheese. Um, <laughs> okay. Thank you for the offer. I appreciate it. And, um, and um, when I get time, I'm going out inventory, but then um, uh, I'll, I'll, um, I'll, I'll think about your proposal. She just kind of like looks at you and then she's like, well, don't injure that. Uh, 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 okay. And then she just kind of gives you a little head nod and then just continues right past you. Oh, thank you. Go. A couple guys are coming at me like. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 like uh, make a stealth check <laughs> at disadvantage because everyone's. Directed. Natural twenty. Oh! <laughs> at disadvantage. It was almost a natural twenty again, but it's a two. Two. <laughs> <laughs> plus, plus five. It's five. They all just watch you as you sink into the crowd. A couple people Pump get out into of the people. Yeah. They're like, oh, what the? And then you just. And they're just like, I like. <laughs> I practically like run away. Like it's an alternation between like a uh, quick walk and like a skip and like a. <laughs> like, All right. Um, so she walks past you. You would see her as she um, walked past. Everyone seems to be getting out of the way. I I'm not going. I don't know what that means. I'm not doing uh, that. <laughs> standing in the middle of the road, she yeah. just kind of like spits around you. She has a cure. Let's see if she recognizes anything that you might be. She kind of like looks at you. She nods, and then she kind of slides out of the way. Uh, the two lumbering behind her, they amble with a like a zombie-like quality. And as they walk, they don't get out of your way. They like just walk through you if okay. you stand there. I stop standing there. So, I don't. Uh, make strength. Sure. <laughs> you end up rolling down the street like a fucking soccer ball. <laughs> like that noise? Sorry. It went, it was pretty good. Maybe mine will be pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I have to find the dice. It doesn't hate me. I mean, <laughs> want it to be pretty good. I mean, this isn't. This isn't. Uh, is it Hal? 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 No. Hal has a bad time with strength. <laughs> He's got like minus five or something to it. What? That one. He's feeble. The carrier? Huh? Hey, that's not terrible. Seventeen. Seventeen. You rolled a natural twenty. Yeah, I figured. Oh. I, so I was hoping I would roll a natural twenty. <laughs> yeah, I don't um, know what happened over there. You, he, just because you have a screen doesn't mean I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> he as as he kind of like ambles. You notice that he's not moving, uh, and just from your general knowledge, you notice he's not reacting to anything like mm-hmm. any sort of stimuli. It's just ambling, uh, almost animal like. You kind of stand there for a minute, and then you're like. And as you guys kind of like very awkwardly collide, he basically like walks pretty much through you. So you kind of fall backwards for a minute. And as it Aww. happens, there's this like metallic like Beak! on the floor um, as you kind of rattle there and you're just yeah. like, eh. Well, I know that hurt his foot. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> I weigh a lot. He stepped um, on you? He or stepped no, into me. Oh, yeah, basically. He just shambled stepped, into yeah, me yeah. and had me. Uh, and as it. he kind of walks past, there's this moment uh, where, you know, obviously it's def- the kind of loud clanging sound. Yeah. Um, Do I see the, that at all? I'm not. I'm not making any effort to get up either. I'm going to send, spend some time contemplating so what happened. What just happened? Uh, you notice the um, the woman that you saw. She turns around, and at which point she just she like looks, kind of makes like a furrowed brow, and then she's like, "Please get him up." At which point both of them just stop, and then they turn around in almost like perfect unison, and they walk over and they scoop you up. Huh. And you would expect it to be like this straining thing, but as their muscles strain, they make no grunts. Their faces don't change. They just <laughs> roll you up. It's not uh, rough <laughs> or anything. They they get you to your feet and they stand you up, and then they seem to just their arms just kind of sag again. Oh, they didn't thank, give you the front pat. Thank you. They you you notice like literally as you look up, their faces are obscured, but you just see this corner like. Oh yeah. 
And then they turn and they I still say uh, thank you. Not, <laughs> not, not a, a monster. <laughs> I'm a robot, not a monster. Um, they seem to uh, amble past you. Yeah, they seem to be the heading towards the. Uh, that to you. Seem fine. to be heading towards the slum. Did I take any damage from that? Okay. <laughs> I'm just curious. They about hit a rock. They're not moving very fast, so it's a very awkward exchange yeah. where you're just like, what? <laughs> you're just getting well, meat grinded into your face. <laughs> but why? I'm just gonna call this awkward alley after this. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even gonna be Main Street. All right, so um, you uh, exit out and you find your way to the uh, the jeweler shop, oh, okay. where you uh, pop the door open with a certain level of uh, vigor. There's a number of patrons actually already in the shop, and so as you look around, you see. Basically, most of them hovering around that glass case because it's the main attraction of the store, and he keeps a lot of his stuff stowed away, as you've seen in the past. This uh, older-looking gnomish gentleman uh, leans over the counter. He has his little spectacle in right now, and as he talks with these various people, he's just like, he's just explaining, like, oh, this is worth about 50 gold, and this one's worth about 10 gold. If you, we could do lovely uh, bracelets with it. And he kind of like talks with them, and they they seem uh, you know interested as much as you can be engaged. Uh, you know, one other person kind of just like is encircling the room, kind of like staring at the walls, and then trying to get peeks at like various equipment in the back that's all stowed in window uh, shopper. Yeah, um, and as like as a couple of them leave, there's a couple more still in the shop, and they debate amongst themselves very, let's say loudly about you know oh well do we want to get this? Well this will look really good. Uh, kind of thing. It seems to be like a couple having a, a discussion. You notice the gnome and gentleman kind of lean around as they talk. Oh, hello. Welcome. Oh, I'm here to pick up my bracelet. God, I don't remember. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let me see. And he kind of pops down off his Such stool a, like, and he turns around. And too. You're old. You don't know anything. <laughs> he just walks into the back, opens the door. Uh, you can hear some rustling around for a moment before he returns with... You think you got two of them, right? Yeah. Two of the, uh, the bracelets and he... Holds them in his hand very, like, gently as he approaches. Are these the ones you're talking yes, about? Those, those ones, yes. He sets them on the go. You had not paid him yet. I already paid him. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ooh, sure. he's he trying to swizzle. Maybe he didn't. Rolling he, um, inside he on the sand. He hands him in. <laughs> <laughs> done, done, done. Oh, he paid for him. He looks, and then he kind of like, <laughs> as you kind of take him away, he's like, Oh, right. Never mind. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy them. I'm sure I will. Thank you. Is there anything else voice. I can help you with? Just staring at him constantly. Thank you. Yeah. you kind of like, as he's talking, like the little monocle goes, <laughs> oh, no. hangs on a little chain. Just, uh, head that in. Explain the depth problem. I'm not going to see you. Um, so as you uh, take your I bought a gym for two months. Uh, uh, you notice huge. the door open and cool. a red in the face, very jittery. I will like burst in and then... <laughs> And then seeing all the people at the counter, I'll like press against the wall and still like. <sighs> Some reason I saw Isma going into her secret lab. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I go up like that. I'm just gonna walk towards the door, pat her in the shoulder. Come well, on, let's go. Um, I, I have to um, buy it somewhere here. Um, um, you still I'll have wait all though money. for the people to. No, they, they just didn't mean to. Oh, okay. There's only yeah. two more people right. in here. Oh, good. Okay. I thought they're it was not, like five. No, they're they're not. They, they were com- kind of coming in. I can handle two. But this right. episode, Siliana stands in a line. <laughs> <laughs> Stand out, wait out next time. See if she gets to the front. It's like, it's like how fast are they? I let other people go in front of me. Oh no, you go. Oh, they couldn't decide. Um, oh, I'm gonna push her in front of me. It's a bad day. Um, <laughs> then I take her spot on the wall. It and look. Uh, I'll look in the case. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, I need a. Uh, um, do you us? Uh, sorry. He's staring at you. Because <laughs> you're the only one that's actually. I was staring at the case and then I look up. Oh, um, do you have uh two two diamonds? Uh, two diamonds. Oh, okay. He <laughs> looks over the case for a minute, and he looks into one of the corners, and he's like, oh, I have several. How, what what kind do you need? Um, well, uh, how, how much are, are the... Are these the... ones are 100 gold, and these ones are 50 gold, and these ones are they're a little bit lower quality, about 10 gold apiece. Um, could I purchase two of the, the 50 golds? Uh, you notice as you say that, the two uh, people that were kind of having a conversation just kind of look, they're like, <laughs> seem kind of like shocked that you're just going to be like, drop money on it. I'm going to scoot further. Wait, is there a wall? No, not, you're, you're basically you're you know, in the center. The center yeah, of so I'm going to keep. Whatever direction they are, she wants to go the yeah, opposite. Yeah, he kind of just like, like <laughs> they're about, uh, do I have a couple, <laughs> ma- ma'am? <laughs> <laughs> he kind of watches as you. I'm half the camera. I'm still great. Right. 
Do you want you want fifty gold worth? Uh, uh, a hundred gold, please. Oh, okay. Yeah, he reaches back and he wants a little. Two, two, two of you said one hundred gold. You say? No, I said He takes a. He takes two of the, the no, gems and he closes the, the, branch. the no, glass and then he sets it down and he's just like, let me be a hundred gold oh, pieces, please. Oh, he just sat down one, right? No, 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 no. Oh, he's okay, good, good. Okay. No, he's just not being um, quiet about it. Well, I yeah. thought he put one up and then I was yeah. like, no. I, I think I think the, the DM considered doing that. <laughs> yes. Big it's spender. Oh, okay. um, Ringing a bell and all this Who's on first? Oh, yeah, ding, no. I got a big spender. Don't tell me the paper, yeah, but we're, we're gonna, gonna put gold. this in the As paper. he's sitting there, he like lays it all out, puts it in stacks of ten huh. on the counter in front of you. Everyone, the two individuals that are still in here are kind of like. Oh, God. And then the, the lady like slaps his arm and she's like, ten gold, really? You don't want to spend ten gold? Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly where this is going. Disputes you're now. just lucky they weren't outside because you got propositioned by a whorehouse madam <laughs> and you're dropping a hundred gold on I'm diamonds? Like, start turning my back to them. As I, a little, as I, <laughs> They'd be like, she's a whore. <laughs> she's buying that with that whore money. <laughs> as, oh, as, as, as you turn your back, all you hear is, you hear this like, Really? Don't even get at it! And she pulls him out of the store. Oh no! You see him kind of like, he's like... It's that me! <laughs> he did a, a little look behind. <laughs> he's getting yanked out of the store. It's that me! <laughs> oh no! At which point, uh, the, the unknown gentleman is just watching through his spectacle. Watching really that? really hard to see. Oh, uh. Yes? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> just an old ass one. He, he, uh, takes all the, he takes all the gold. What did he do? Did he stop in the middle one? He's watching the fight. Oh, okay. He uh, he stacks up all the gold and then he kind of slides the uh, the gems to you. Anything else, dearie? Um, that that um, that's all for for now. Thank you. Okay. Well, if you need any more gems, come on down. Did he come in? No. No, I was still following Uh, you from a distance. Okay. Um. (laughs) Then I come back. I got knocked over. Remember? Yeah. Mm. (laughs) (laughs) Makes me sad. Uh, I'd like to go back to the, the place where we were staying and get my the rest of my stuff. Right. So you head back to the, the yeah. and then So I'm, I'm walking to the jewelry shop where she is. So she comes out and just immediately goes the other way. Oh, and no. You go, well, I had things to do. That's fine. Oh, <laughs> no. You want to go into the shop, too? Uh, no, I don't give a fuck about that shop. <laughs> I'm going to go to the blacksmith. Oh, cool. oh okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> the blacksmith. You go, to, you go to the lab. Wait, no, okay. Right. Can we pass can I, each other? You did pass We did. Okay. I watched, oh. I watched then you go, and then I'll you come, went. I'll come back to Theta. Then. Okay, so now she... You see her walk away from you, and you're like... And then she turns around, and you're like, oh, okay, cool. Is he dusty? <laughs> Is he... No. Yeah, it's cobblestones. The streets That's why it's are loud. pretty much well... Okay. ...kept just due to the fact that there's constant movement through here. Okay. Gutters are dusty. That's it. A lot of horse shit. So you guys reconnect. I'm going to the blacksmith. You stare at each other awkwardly. Okay. I'll, um, I'll, I'll go up with you. She's still kind of red in the face. Okay. Are you okay? Um, it's been a trying out. Yes or no, please. <laughs> yeah, yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we need to make this simple. So, you guys uh, head back well basically the way you came. <laughs> uh, you guys go back the way you came. The blacksmith is closer to the middle of town. Turn on back to the Adventurers Guild. Okay, so you, them, like I told them. Yep. so you head back to the Adventurers Guild. And you are greeted by... Uh, Zongak and uh, Moss. And I have street. an idea. I'm going back inside. <laughs> you uh, you turn around back inside. The door's still open. It, it's not uh, like any sort of retentions. So that door just kind of stays open. They don't really care. So the door's open as you kind of yell that. You hear a little <laughs> inside. And then you turn around and head back inside the... the uh, Madeline, two questions. One... Yes. How does your mailing system work? Do you just write the name of who you want it to send it to? Do you think about them? Do you say their name and it goes... Um, you write the the person, mm-hmm. and then you put it through. She points at the slot in the door, um, at which point uh, the enchantment uh, guides the letter through. Fantastic. May I have some scroll parchment paper, something to write on and would write with? She uh, heads behind the counter, and pulls out. Do you notice that she had her own personal stack? It's the same stack that she was carrying when she. Uh, did like the meetings and everything, mm-hmm. so she pulls something from that and hands it to you, and then do she you, hands you a quill and an ink bottle. Do you need to like put this in an envelope or just through the slot? You fold it and just Fantastic. put it through. All right. Well, I'm going to spend a couple minutes writing a 
fairly detailed report. I will leave out the part about me almost drowning. Okay. Um, and I'm going to address it to Captain Galix. Okay. So you, uh, right out, you're just going to explain the whole situation? Yes, I'm going to say, you know, Captain Galix, I may have some information for you. You might get a raid. Oh, I'm not <laughs> Scratch I'm going to write that and then I'm going to line it out <laughs> and continue. <laughs> you might get a raise from this. We have this yeah. new stuff called white white out. No. <laughs> and I'll it's just give him. Uh, <laughs> in this area, there was this found it during low tide. Currently, bar barring it, etc. Et are you going to tell him who you are? Yeah. At the very end. It's me, Mom. <laughs> and Be all mom. this other shit. And um, yeah, the last couple sentences are going to be. You may not remember me. Uh, we talked after the initial incident. Okay. You fold it up. And you slide it through. There's a moment where you think it's just going to go off the other side, and it just goes, I've been duped. What? I'm it. not. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Fantastic. Floats up into the air, and then you see it kind of like rides an invisible current as it kind of makes its way through the city. Here's you watch all this. You guys both watch this exchange. And I'll come back out. And I have now informed the guards about the oubliette. She kind of riddles. She stands there. Oobble bit. Goes back and forth. <laughs> Oobble. Thank you. Welcome. Oobble. 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 You said, you said somebody could read it, though? Yeah, I said one of our compatriots was able to read it. <laughs> Two? You can read a vessel, too, right? Mm-hmm. So, wait, the whole exchange was backwards? Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. It was oh. backwards. So. Yeah. The, the whole thing was written in Abyssal. I had it fucking completely fucked oh. up. I had it in my notes for some reason. I had wrote in Infernal, and then every other mention was Abyssal. And huh. I just kind of like... I was rereading to go through, and then yeah. I was just like, son of a bitch. I don't oh. know what the fuck I was thinking when I was... Interesting. I don't know, but yeah. okay. one mention fucked me up for the whole game. <laughs> You're like, that's the one. That's, that's it. it. That's right now. I, I don't need to read this anymore. <laughs> yeah. So, um, oh, that's not coming back. <laughs> no, it's not. It might. So, return to sender option. <laughs> it's like, right. Or that, like, counter spell. Yeah. They'll figure it out. Whoa. <laughs> 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 and then it just comes back. No. <laughs> Damn it. Undo. I shouldn't. Oh, this is kind of like sending a drunk email to the next. It's a text message. Once it's out. Yeah. You're fucked. <laughs> That's it. Um, so well, I mean, I told them what the answer was. Yeah. Hopefully, they say it in every language known to man. Well, you know, you got to put it there. If they go there, right? Gonna, if they go there, they'll try saying it. It won't work. And they may look at the walls and go, "Oh, there's a riddle here written in a fucking language. I wonder what language that is." Oh, these must be the riddles you're talking about. Oh, it's in a different language. Must use that language. Find me a cleric. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they send MSI, presumably one of them will have comprehend language. Or they'll get murdered by a shark man. Exactly. The <laughs> or they might. <laughs> I told them about the shark This would be a shark new man. captain of the guards. He's going to be like, guys, I can't do this anymore. They'll <laughs> investigate it. <laughs> It'll be fine. Let's just wait for our compatriots. All right, so you three wait, basically. You guys, um, you guys head to the uh, blacksmith. Uh, blacksmith! No, I thought we were going to save people. We are. Um, or to to save probably time, you don't have to... Married this if you don't want to. Uh, I would also like to get like a nicer dress. Oh, we can make. She's pretty. Yeah. <laughs> a horse dress? Do you say no? Cut, well, not. Oh, yeah, she's a horse yep. Not a to horse me, dress. it's like a job interview. So, because I think wow. I'm going for a library position. So, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna. Yeah. Wants you to catalog all the dick. I mean, <laughs> maybe it's pornography. I don't know. <laughs> So I want to get a nice, like, interview dress. A nice interview oh, dress. Nice yes. Dress. Go on. It's like 15 gold for fancy clothes. <laughs> yeah. So. Although, depending on where you're interviewing at, you may want to spend, like, two gold for just something. Negligent. I don't know that. You don't know that. <laughs> Some negligee. Great. All right. So, uh, as you guys head back into the uh, the uh, the Smiths, you do see that, that sign, the anvil sign. Um... Symbol as you go into the door of this large sort of building with a with a massive uh, chimney in the center. You open the door and immediately buffeted with that uh, that sort of um, you know heat and soot smell, brimstone and, and coal. And as you enter the shop, there's a number of people in here that are picking up weapons. Uh, they're talking amongst themselves. There is a number of patrons in here, especially for this time of the morning. Huh. People trying to cut through that uh, 
any sort of like traffic and get uh, okay. orders done. You notice that there are a couple guards sitting uh, by the front desk. They're talking to him rather fervently. One of them holds a shield in his hand and he's like, you know, they, they seem to be oh, discussing. Oh, their shift, pick it up, yeah. or get repairs. Gotcha. So they, they, they talk with a couple of the hands. There's a couple uh, mm-hmm. uh, apprentices you. in the shop. And you see Ordem's kind of like watching from the back, everybody. He doesn't seem to be working on any projects right now. He just kind of like sits on a stool. Anyway. Amble over to him. Uh, you run up to straight the counter. Straight through. Yeah, it's just straight through everyone. <laughs> yeah. He kind of like gets up. Uh, the other two are currently engaged. So he kind of walks over and he's like, what can I do for you? Hello! I gave you things to make into other things. The spiny, spiky things. Oh, yeah. That's how I look up. It was mm-hmm. yesterday. Yes. Oh, yeah. He, uh, <laughs> so it was like four weeks ago. <laughs> he turns around and... Uh, Three. He heads off, and you notice there's a... You, you actually, as he approaches, you get a better sense, and you can see them. He has them currently sitting in, like, racks, the long Ooh. sort of point. Basically, where he would probably put daggers that were finished. Sure. Um, he pulls them up in these these nice little ornate uh, handles that are... Uh, would perfect for someone that had hands. Yeah. Better hands. But they would, everything still works. Um, but you can tell his craftsmanship is It's fantastic, yeah. yeah. So he pulls all of them up, and you can see these long, sort of uh, curved bone spines that have been kind of smoothed out in places. Uh, the tips of them have been uh, dipped in a silver material, and as, as he slides them out, he puts both of them on the table. There's two, right? Uh, three. Three. So he puts all three on the uh, on the counter for you, and he's just like... <sighs> oh my. Pick them up. Two hands. Spin the hands to look at all the angles. Just Yeah, exactly. Nice slow rotation. Just... This is amazing. Whoa. Test the strength. <laughs> <laughs> He's just tripping right now. Uh, did you pay for? No, not yet. Okay, uh, it is. <coughs> Zonga, do you want anything sharpened? It's gonna be forty-two gold. Perfect. Total. I will. Buy it. Do you have a white stone? No. Oh. I, I will. Uh, uh, hold up, I'm. Uh, uh, no, it's just <laughs> no, it's a uh, morning star. So no, I'm morning star. I'm about to play. <laughs> so there's probably like sharp <laughs> edges. Yeah. Have you met me, the person? Um, I don't haggle. I don't I don't as he, as he sets him out, as you look at him, he that's basically nice. runs through the pricing, the custom fitting. Yeah. The that's fine. No, I'm not worried about that at all. Yes, yeah. I was trying to remember if I had a pouch on me, and I don't. So it's it's in me. So I'll reach. Lost my coin pouch. What out? <laughs> oh, and just make it an even 50. <laughs> yeah, he begins sliding him back. He watched you count. So yeah. Oh, yeah. We but he takes them all and he's like, all right. Uh-huh. Me and he'll have a tap last time we were here. So oh, feeds yeah. him in, and then you see he takes it over. Uh, he kind of takes it over to one of the assistants who takes the bag from him and uh, heads off to the back to go put it away. The guard that's kind of standing there with Julie is like, going to be like, hex and gun. I have a question. Uh, if I wanted to buy um, uh, iron that's uh, more than 100 gold, how do I go about doing that? Iron? Yes. Like raw iron? Do you, do do you, you want, want a, here? Do you want a bar? Do you want a bowl? Do you want a stamp? Do you want a nail? Do you Does want it say? No, it just says iron worth a gold. So like, um, he kind of. Let's stay to asking you those things. By the way, I, that's me asking you in character. Do you want a bar? Do you want a bowl? Do you want a stamp? I don't do you know. want a nail? Yeah, what do I need here? I have the spell up if you want. No, no, I need something oh. else. I don't know. There's a raw material section. So oh, nice. Give you okay. an actual number. And like what is it is. Oh, okay. well, I'm actually more curious about how much it weighs. Oh. Um, okay, iron. Uh, <laughs> oh, is it really heavy? How much does it weigh? It's like a kid with a... What, was what it? is this One spell? of those pedal balls? Uh, yeah. magic well, instead of I can't cast it, I'm actually just trying to research. hit it against it, he's just swinging an asshole. So it has to be working on a gravel hook next. Yeah, it has to have iron worth 100 gold. It doesn't say what. I'm, I'm so So interested. one pound of iron is one silver. Oh my god! A thousand pounds? That is no, a hundred pounds? Um, 100 pounds. Kinda, it's a hundred pounds, isn't it? Maybe yeah. you really know. No, because no, silver is one tenth of a gold. So ten to one. So one silver, ten silver, that's ten pounds. So right, but a hundred gold's worth. That's only one gold's worth. So a hundred pounds. thousand pounds. Oh, thousand, thousand pounds. pounds. Yeah, you did the math yeah, right. Yeah. Well, so, find <laughs> something... Um, he kind of like... Um, I have some high quality work stuff that might fit that bill, I think. What, do I need, like, can I get, like, a candlestick or something? 
what? I'm asking what's the DM. Right. Yeah, right. But a candlestick what? <laughs> like, made of iron? Or, like, can I get an object made of iron? Or does that have to be straight iron? I mean, it has to be iron. Says, it doesn't matter. You can get whatever you want. Iron worth 100 gold, gold, so just what? have them charge you 100 gold for well, a iron candlestick. Do it. So if it's... <laughs> <laughs> This, well, this one pound of iron is worth a hundred gold because that's what that's I paid for. So he kind of like he, he sits there for a minute and he's like, an expensive. I have some well pure iron pieces that might be worth close, but I also, if you're looking for, what is this for? A project. Project. I know. I know people that sell powdered stuff for spellcasters or. Um, what, where might go? Uh, you'd have to check the market district. Three. Oh, that's not like a. Oh, there's not just an iron shop. You can yeah. in yeah. here. <laughs> that's what you are in right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's an iron shop. It's not an iron shop. shop. I'm the iron shop. <laughs> I have some particularly pure pieces. This one, they're just hunks like that have been worked out of uh, the stone. Yeah. If you want to yeah. try that. But how? Um, he kind of like I've seen the two ones. He turns around and heads back into the back. You can see he begins kind of collecting what appear to be rocks. He's like uh, veins of raw iron, and he begins to kind of look through them. And you can tell some have like more purity or thicker pieces of just raw chunks. And he kind of like turns it over and he's like, I mean that's a particularly good piece that I was looking forward to working with, but... Well, um, uh, if, it, if I don't need it right now, I'm just kind of um, figuring out what I need, so uh, I, you can use that. Uh, I just didn't... How common is it for you to have these big... Raw pieces of that kind of level of quality? Not very. We get them sparingly from the mines or from shipping and trade. Okay. I mean, he kind of points and there's literally a, a, a basket of just work on my rocks that, you know, from this distance look, you know, like they have shiny, <laughs> basically. Okay. Uh, thank you. If, thank you, you for your if you need a lot of heavy iron, depending well, no, depending on where you want to use them, mm -hmm. you could always commission a door built. And a door can weigh a lot and be put up. But then you have your iron. And when you need it, it's a door. Um, Stand room. Okay. I don't understand that, why you're defensive, well, I'm sir. That's not defensive. Oh. Do you sell fish hooks? Um, no. No. Okay. You can make some if you want. You ah, you can that shark find man. Some. I just, if you had some in the counter. Fish for a shark, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had, I had much more nefarious ideas in mind for fish like hooks. Like big ones? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, normal sized fish hooks. I have yes. plans. Yeah, no. I, that's for later. You're going to trap them. your paint box? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, Somebody tries to the windows? Somebody tries to open the windows. <laughs> 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 hey, wolf. Maybe I was just going to get my tongue pierced. Um, <laughs> Maybe. Do you have a tongue? Yeah, oh, it's, it's, it's big and purple. And um, and <laughs> like a cartoon? What yeah. are you doing? Okay. It's, yeah, it's proportional. To kind of shakes mouth. his head. He takes this back and he kind of like motions to you. Oh, thank what you. are you going to make out of it? Kind of looks at it. A door. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. All right. Thank you. Thank this is exceptional work. Got them up. Put them through. Thank you for your time. He waves, and as he waves, he notices that the, the like apprentice isn't back yet, so he goes to the guy with the shield. <laughs> and a big gruff, and he slams his hands on the table. What can I do for him? And they begin sort of talking back and forth as you guys exit. Can I the can I just like listen in a little bit of what we're leaving? I'm just curious, like what that guy wants with that shield. Um, as you're listening, he's holding up an example. He wants another one made, like a, a, a better backup. quality one oh, okay. of the same type. You get the sense as he's talking, he's like, he's like, yeah, like. We all have the same shield, but like, oh, like a good one, you know. Like this is just what they give us, you know. Like yeah. <laughs> this, this isn't gonna stop an arrow. The guy next to him is just like, can I have my shield back, bro? Like, <laughs> You've been cool. shown to this guy for like an hour. <laughs> cool. And you exit out, the back to the Adventurers Guild. Um, so you guys head back to the Adventurers Guild, where you encounter uh, your three compatriots well, just kind of sitting can outside. I buy a dress. We don't have the role play. Just can I buy one on the way. You want to buy one on the way? There are no shops. You have to actually go in and do one of these fishing shop. Did things well. tailored. Um, fishing shop, not particularly. Yeah, At least know. not in this district. Okay. Is there a port district? Is there a fisherman selling fish? Not in the street here. Okay. Food sellers <coughs> go to. But there's not a. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought. Oh, okay. I, thought, oh, okay. I, said, I thought we were in the market. In the bazaar. Cool. There's no well, worries. There's not pre-made dresses. There are, but there's there is. As you walk through the streets and you look around, you notice that there is a spool needle through it. There is a tailor shop. Um, is there anything creepy? Like, yeah, like currently on display in the windows? Uh, yeah, there's a number of dresses that are uh, 
Okay, on display. Use... Oh, no. Quality roll. On either side. At least the ones you can see in there, they don't really fit your style. And they don't look like they're built for you. Uh, can Why? you say that I have kind of dra- dress commission? Two and a half. I don't want to take time with the shopping anymore. Okay. 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 No, so, uh, uh, the world. No, no, but not everybody likes can't it. Can't just get a dress. What do you know likes it? We just spent. No, I mean, so, yeah, but not everybody likes as it. As you uh, as you exit into well, the or so enter into the uh, shop, also, you notice immediately on your right is a large picturesque window currently on display with these uh, dresses that hang from a curtain. They don't have mannequin pieces at time of the year or time of the fucking century. Um, <laughs> so as you as you enter inside, you notice that the walls are lined with dresses. There's um, they kind of hang in in racks, uh, rows, and there's a young woman sitting there with black hair. It's kind of all pulled back. Uh, it's not kept in any way. She seems to be wearing a nice male suit, which is a little bit uh, different than what you're used to. She has dark hair, green eyes, um, kind of like pointed ears and a, and a narrow chin. Uh, she smiles at you as you enter. She looks older, and as she kind of stands there, she has like this long sort of measuring tape around her. Uh, you both enter, and she, she greets you. Um, what can I do for you? I have, um, I, I need a, uh, a nicer dress, not like, um, like a ball gown, but something that, uh, sort of a higher station would wear. Um, uh, I don't see anything that kind of fit that, or that would fit on, um, me. So, uh, could I have something like that um, made, and what is your pricing or something? Um, she kind of, she kind of like motions to, to one side of the store. Further in... Uh, by where there's like a sewing counter. Uh, there doesn't seem to be like an actual exchange counter, not like on board you would typically have for money. But she, you do see a workstation that's currently riddled with, you know, pins and needles and threads and all kind of like in a place where she can reach them very easily on this uh, custom rack. And as she kind of, she takes a, a visual uh, up and down and then she takes you to across from her workstation. You notice that there are very ornate, very nice uh, gowns and uh, coats for men. Uh, rimmed in furs, and uh, you can tell that she keeps most of the really good stuff here, as oh, okay. people would have to through peruse through there. Make an investigation check. I'm done, done with the skating for dresses. Uh, nice. While they're doing that, I sharpened my shimitar, one of his daggers, his flail, and 15. <laughs> <across I'm> sorry, <laughs> guys. 15. I have, a, I have a whetstone. He got to a... A certain point, and then I took away the stone. <laughs> so I stopped. Okay. Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, looking through, there's a number of really nice quality things here. They would have to be tailored to you specifically, but that would fit the bill of what you consider to be a sort of formal or event. <clears throat> They'd have to be tailored to your tits. <laughs> nice. Classy anyway, as always. Yep, yep. Uh, yeah, so I'll pick one of them out. Do we have any, like... Uh, most of them seem to be in royal or regal colors, reds, purples, um, and then rimmed in either blacks or golds. Um, the occasional, for the men's section, you notice that there's browns and reds and stuff like that. Uh, okay, like purple and black. Okay, purple and black. Yeah. Um, you do find a very nice uh, dress. She kind of takes it off, um, and then for the sake of <laughs> brevity, she, I don't want to read it. <laughs> Sorry, I wanted it and then I didn't want it. Um, she, there's a whole procession, you head off in the back, you put it on, she brings you back out, you just kind of stand there. She uh, measures you up, she begins to kind of pin parts and then make notes of where... I'll repeatedly say I'm sorry to Theta for keeping him. She's kind of like trying to work and then she's looking at you as you say that and she goes back and then... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Could, for could you me. please not, honey, anymore? Thank you. <laughs> How many times do I get that out before? <laughs> probably about two or three before. She's just kind of like... I will watch it passively. <laughs> Um, yep, so she pins you all up, gets all your, uh, things, you head back out, change, she takes the dress from you, and she's like, um, is tomorrow, or the next thing could be? Um, no, uh, that, that's fine, um, uh, how, how much will it be, I'll pay, I think. Um, this dress is 15 gold, okay. tailoring for it, my time in work labor, about 5 gold. So, uh, 20 gold, I'll take it. Uh, I'll give her 25 <coughs> gold. Okay, she takes it from you. Uh oh. What'd you do? He inhaled some of his whetstone <laughs> dust. <laughs> Are you sharpening it still? I'm coughing so he doesn't hear me. <laughs> oh. so you head out. Um, you guys exit into the uh, market. <laughs> you uh, 
head around the corner where you are. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> um, you head out into the. Uh, and then I'm gonna grab my stuff and I'll go back to the. Okay, area. so you head back to the. So Theta, are you going with her the whole time? Yeah. Okay, so you guys walk back to the Laughing Pirate. Um, you guys, she heads upstairs for a minute. She grabs her stuff, heads back out. Um, you guys head back, make your way to the Adventuring Guild where you will meet up with the three of them, sort of uh, messing around. Zongyak passed out. Ah. <laughs> So, about these people that were dying. Right, yes. Let us make haste. Let's. Where are we? <laughs> Headed right. off on another grand adventure or something. Hopefully. Where are we going? Our town was hit. I don't know. To the north. The town of Ladine. Ladine, to the north. From when the talking to Madeline, she would have given you the information like where it came from. Yes. There's no need to give me the finger. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, you guys, Onward. gather up, you uh, find your way, make your way down Monolith Street. Uh, you would be leading the way because you're the only person that's ever entered from the north town, the north end of town. So you guys uh, make your way through Monolith. Oh, I you do too. Exit out, yeah, you three. You guys exit out through the um, through the northwest uh, portal into, the, into one of the housing districts. And as you make your way down the street, you can see people maneuvering about... Um, Obviously, densely populated in this area as well. This is the middle class uh, district, so a lot of people are, have free time. They talk amongst themselves, they laugh, and they joke. Hello. Um, the kids Hello. are all well dressed for Hello. the most part. Um, Hello. Is there not as many kids in the street now? No, not in this area. These ones probably have schooling to get to and stuff. The littler ones are the ones that are currently maneuvering and about Nintendos the and PlayStations. <laughs> no need for hoop stick <laughs> <laughs> or stick ball. <laughs> um, so you guys make your way through the street. You gain, you garner a number of obvious looks from people. They talk amongst themselves and then uh, oh. sort of like scowl down as they they live in comfort yeah. and you currently do things that make them uncomfortable beneath them. Or work with our hands. Huh? <laughs> work with our hands. <laughs> yeah, they don't do that thing. Yeah. Why would they do that? No, they have their. Uh, These are stay-at-home husbands and wives and shit. <laughs> and shit. <laughs> what is the white collar area? Yeah. So you find yourselves uh, exiting. You cross over that district. It's relatively narrow. The um, this section, there are multiple sections of housing districts throughout, um, but this section is relatively narrow, and you find yourselves exiting through the uh, northwestern portal into uh, what is a defensive barrier. You guys entered through this this part before. It's a narrow strip of land where you can see people coming in, uh, carting goods, um, people herding cattle. You kind of have to get out of the way of them. It seems to be a, a well-traveled entry point into the city, but it is flanked on both sides by these very tall stone walls that are manned by guards that walk up and down. So this, it seems to be a long stretch, and some of you would know, you would know this, you would know this, you would know this, um, Jormungandr doesn't have this. But you guys would know this, that this entryway is used as basically like a, a, a funnel point. So if they ever get attacked or anything from this direction, they can choke funnel them. people into there and they choke them in for a long distance. It's a decent, you know, a couple hundred feet stretch oh, wow. where they can just pepper people. Um, or hot oil or whatever. Or a bitch! <laughs> Or you have a repeating cross lightning bolt. bolt. <laughs> yeah, then you have the highest Fire population ball. of magic users. Also, I mean, if you get if you get it down to like a seven foot hallway, lightning bolts. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fuck these people. <laughs> um, so you guys exit out as the lightning bolt at the same time. At opposite ends. You guys exit out the, uh, get the northwest portal. The northwest portcullis. You didn't see that, chat. It's called dusk gate. Mm-hmm. I believe is what this dusk is called. Gate. Oh. I also did my grappling hook. I missed my face. That's <laughs> very sharp. All the prongs of it are, are sharp now. Fair enough. You can use it for fishing now. Good. Yeah, things are really fucked up now. Big ass fish. Okay. Um, uh, you find yourself exiting the, the great Alavran city, and you're greeted by the outdoors once again. Woo! It's about, I would say, probably about noon or one-ish by the time you finally exit out into the main city from all the walking around and getting stuff done, um, and you guys waiting very patiently. Uh, um... By your side. So, a lot of work done. as you guys exit, the the sun has risen uh, well past the the crest of noon, and the temperature has risen to uh, roughly about ninety degrees. There seems to be a little bit of humidity that's uh, permeating the area, but the sun is up in the sky. There's very sparse clouds that couldn't even obscure it if it wanted to. Um, on your left hand side, you're greeted by uh, all flush tall grasslands that actually end into forests uh, further up. And you recognize the forest as the Orndor Forest that you entered previously. However, this is the northern end that you're uh, walking towards. Uh, this road, 
Hello, grasslands. Hello, forest. Um, on your right hand side, you can see uh, there's a stretch of land. You kind of went catty corner, so there's actually a decent stretch of land before it just falls off and you just ocean um, for a long time. So, oh, isn't this where the stable master is? No, no you guys passed him. Oh. He's in the middle of the city. I can say hi. It's a terrible place for a stable master. Um, yeah, he's roughly middle of the city is where he's at. You guys entered, uh, exited through the northwest. Um, yep, and so you begin to take the, uh, this sort of coastal road. You can see for a, a good distance that there are people coming from uh, the north along the coastal road, and then there are people coming in from off a catty corner, kind of like forks, you know, into two directions. But both seem to have people moving back and forth between them. And you guys uh, bank to the left where Madeline would have explained to you the town of Ladeen is you can just follow this road pretty much the whole way into the small farming community to the north of here. While we're going, I'm going to ask... Time to start an adventure, and I run. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask for clarification. Yeah, so what are run. what are we doing again? Well, good sir. <clears throat> the town of Ladeen was hit by an unknown band of dark-skinned creatures the night before last before last. They made off with four of their town folk. They don't know if they're okay or what attacked, but they were requesting some assistance in locating and freeing their people from whomever it is or was or that thing that may have been that attack. Very verbose. Now, I was informed that Ra met a dark-skinned, uh, uh, very attractive young lady. I met one of those. Did you? Yeah. Her friends pushed me over. They didn't seem to notice. Was it intentional? No. Fair enough. Then, I don't know that that's our culprit, but Rob uh, brought up a very interesting point. People liked her. Lots the, of people liked well, her. Well, I don't know that she may have anything to do with this, but mm. if she is a tall, dark-skinned creature, and I'm under the assumption she's black as the night, then she may well, at the very least, be of... Ah, <clears throat> a type equal to whatever these things are. I assume these to be more monstrosities, but if they are humanoid, then they're called drow. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> Everyone knows that. <laughs> Even you know that. <laughs> if It may be drow, but I don't want to believe that these are sentient creatures. Fight but Why? Because fighting things that can scream in pain and call you names and beg you to stop is a lot harder than fighting things that can't. Why? That's a good question. Most people <laughs> have difficulty ending the life of something that they see on par with them. It gets huh. easier with time. Yes, <laughs> it does. <laughs> and and you, the wrong you can also train yourself to be able to handle it, but some people, I imagine Siliana, maybe one of them, would have difficulty striking down another human. We'll teach you to stab. Let's go. I, I, I used staggered before, but all the time. No, like... <laughs> Life ending. <laughs> really get it in there. Really get it in there. <laughs> Should be the first one. Get in there, like. Alright, so, you guys, uh, you follow the northwestern road uh, back to the north end of the Orendor Forest. As you approach, you can actually see it getting bigger in your view, and you realize that that is where you're heading. Um, so... You can look forward to that. Yay. Um, where you're from, you can see that the trees are much more densely packed together in the distance. For now, though, you reside in the open road uh, before you, a narrow patch of beaten, treaded earth nestled between two large fields of waist high or higher grasslands, as far as the eye can see. Um, to the south of you, as you kind of curve, you're basically like curving, heading east, you know? Um, to the south of you, even from this distance, you can see farmsteads that are kind of sparsely uh, just kind of dotting the countryside here where there's openings in the grass, um, burnt out most likely, um, and you would have seen them, you two, actually all three of you would have seen them on your way into town a couple days prior when you first arrived, you would have seen these areas treading through town. To the north of you, you can see the landscape fold out before you into the horizon, steadily sloping upwards towards what you you guys know because you cross in as Elzheim to the north. So, um, this jaunt is going to take you a considerable amount of time. Is there anything you guys would like to do on your walk or on your trek? Yeah, hover up by mall again. Okay. I am <laughs> going to notice this, not say anything, and just start to get just a little bit embarrassed. Are I you wearing your KPA? I don't know. No, why you I just see his KPA go. <laughs> 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 like straight up, like line, 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 line. Because I don't know why she's doing it, but I don't want to breach that topic. I don't want to wait. Okay. 
I'm gonna um, run through the but I will for just pictures. occasionally if she's kind of like next to me, I'll just kind of like put my hand out in case she wants to hold it. Hold <laughs> <laughs> well, on, an awkward check. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, I'm like, shit, not that's like with it. Should I put this pinky up that. like that? Natural 18. It's pretty awkward. <laughs> no, not, not like hitting her hand or anything. No, no. Just kind of like keep it open. Well, I'm like right behind you. So like oh. I just keep seeing you put your... That's what I'm saying. If, if you're not next to me, I'm not going to do it. But <laughs> Well, do you... Like if you... <laughs> Adventurers, people. Adventurers. <laughs> it's fine. I like it. It's funny. Um... Um, who's, what's the walking for She wants to run through the grass and find wild animals. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. You pop like a shark so with you like dive a mole in, in your head. Uh, I'm going to make a survival check. Oh, if you bump me with your hand, I'm going to like jump and like scoot mm-hmm. a little bit away from you. What's the Ooh, he met eyes with a trainer! What does that mean? <laughs> What'd you roll? I got a natural 20. Oh my god. 22. <laughs> um, looking around, yeah, you see a number of, uh, you see a number of animal tracks. You can't actually see Dick. I mean, you're in a grassy yeah. field. I mean, so you, am I just finding scat? Some of that you find scat. You find uh, footprints. You see uh, where there's remnants of probably some sort of like blood trail. What do you see um, the grass move? Or something move through? We would see the grass. You're seeing the well, no, grass move as I go. Yeah, but like, what if like he's running and you see something small? Like, won't the grass move a little bit? Not really. You haven't seen anything small. Yeah. Ooh, animals don't typically get near roads where yeah. there's a lots oh, yeah. of people that will probably try to eat them because that's the time sign of the times. We're you don't really find any animals per se, but you do find remnants of animals. Um, a lot of fresh stuff that you could probably imagine took place at night when they were maneuvering in this area. Is there any meat on it? No. It means like matted grass and. Poop. Are there bugs in it? You gonna eat poop? No, I'm not gonna. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't love this grass field that much. <laughs> um, but you guys do see just <laughs> as he runs around. You do see lots of signs of of animal life, just none currently in the area. He is adorable. Anybody else? What do you guys like to do on your walk as you go? After a long awkward bit, um, I'll. Uh, 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 yes. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I panicked and, and almost let you drown. Um, I, 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 I'm sorry. Siliana. I didn't know I was going to drown. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to drown, and you didn't know what rebreathing was, and that's fine. Also, uh, I, I might have a, a, a job uh, with the house that we're in. They, they might need a librarian, so I might be able to get you um, in, in there. You immediately get what that means. Uh, I could see you working there. Well, I mean, I don't know their filing system or anything, oh, so I don't know. Um, I don't if, think if that's I'm anything you have to worry about. Good for the, the so, job. Yeah, I think it would just be something that would come naturally to you. I think you could handle it without. Do you think that I'm being coy? <laughs> like, do you think that I know what I'm talking about? No, you get that she is I completely understand. oblivious. Yes. Okay. And now I'm having fun with that. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna. Well, thank you. I pre- appreciate your confidence. Yeah, just let that go. <laughs> I appreciate your confidence in me. Um, I don't know. I imagine it's going to be a bigger library because um, I'm used to like smaller, a smaller. Hand library. on your shoulder. Lock eyes, Siliana. Uh, you could handle <laughs> any size that they could throw at you. <laughs> <laughs> and there is not a single thing in that area that you couldn't handle <laughs> if you trust in yourself and you maintain a good, Grip. dexterous, <laughs> just. You know how to work with your hands, and you know how to work your hands to get the result that you need. <laughs> well, I just, In you I, I, I pick up books um, often. Exactly. But mostly I use my, my, my... And I mean, look, look, you've even got fairly delicate hands. Not sure. <laughs> well, um, she said that I need to uh, keep my, my clothing nice, but I, I bought a new dress, so I don't have to worry about getting mm-hmm. this outfit. Mm-hmm. I think you'll have a great time. Thank you. I, I just hope that they, they accept me, because I, I don't know what kind of process... What's the vetting process? <laughs> <laughs> vetting process? Anal. <laughs> Gotta be ready for anything. Alright, any, anybody else? Do you have anything specific you're doing or wanting to do? Or are you? Well, they're having this entrancing conversation that means literally nothing. <laughs> to me. yeah. Zero to me. I'm gonna pull out that rock that I stole from the square and I'm just gonna look at it. The cobblestone. It has Oh, yeah, y'all pull out Sprocket too. I'll have a conversation about it. You can show all of and oh yeah, I can show him the world because this is kind of like the field I found him in. Yeah. <laughs> Let me show him the rest. I will finish this conversation with "Don't believe in yourself." 
believe in the me that believes in you. <laughs> believe in me, oh. and I believe in you. You can do it. Turn okay. you like there. That inspiring leader feet kicking in. <laughs> listening. This entire we got two levels right. until I get inspiring leader. You also get it. Zongak uh, hears nothing. You. Uh, <laughs> Zongak is free. I've been. I've been free bird right now. And you're Pikachu. Not ready for that. <laughs> gotta go to the forest, bud. <laughs> There's only like one in there. <laughs> everyone, everyone, everyone. As you guys are walking, I hear it. You think you can handle my Metapod? <laughs> Metapod, you turn. Shorts are comfy and fun to wear. <laughs> <laughs> you wore shorts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think it's break time. Yeah, I think it's. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna take a quick break, um, and then we'll fast forward this process up um, to get you to town, and so we can continue on our uh, our narrative. So, uh, thanks so much for hanging out with us so far, uh, Kimso. Thanks for hanging out with us, Scuba Steve. I know, I know you guys are. I know you guys are hiding in there. Uh, I only know the Team Rocket ones. Like, just some kid. Hey, how would you get in here? It'd be a real shame if a kid could just walk in here and fuck our whole operation up. <laughs> I'm wearing a bikini. Where do I hide my Pokeball? Good question. Always my favorite one. <laughs> I don't know how to answer Oh, they have a stream between them. Yeah. Oh. Ladies. All right, guys. <laughs> um, so, uh, we'll be right back after uh, break. We're going to use the restroom, grab some food, grab drinks. Uh, I know I'm like, running out of water here. Um, so, thanks for hanging out so far. I'm going to dip off camera and switch it over. So, whoop. Be right back, guys. Oh, dear. Uh oh, where'd my fucking. Where'd the mouse go? Over on the other side. Why did. Why is there? Because you changed the title card. Oh no, I did. So, awkward pause as we all stare at each other while I try to get this thing working. Let's stare at the audience. Stare at the audience. So, how are you guys doing? We're good. It's an awkward moment as we uh, switch this over to the This is the awkward stream. Uh, this is the awkward stream. <laughs> you did roll an 18 on that awkward check. We. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna set it up. Hold on. Sorry, I lost the mouse there. <laughs>
like your hand warmer, like you have like a hand warmer or like an icy hot pad or whatever, right? Right. And except the hand warmers are totally reusable, so you basically oh, fucking just are like, they those orange packs? No, they're, they're red. They're oh. red and blue, and the blue ones you oh. just put in the freezer. They chill, and then you pull it out. It's like a gel, and on the inside, and the red ones you just like kind of fucking like shake it a little bit, and it like starts heating up and shit. And it's like seventy bucks at Sam's Club, but hey, only guys. until Sunday. We are back. Very, um, very one of those giant, like, ice This is like some of the stuff. I want to fucking sit on it. Um, so, we're back. A dinosaur story. Um, we've been, uh, so the... We just buy a dry ice every week. Yeah, just put it in there. Just put it in the We're going to turn back the, the mist go around. Just put it on the table, so it's just like... We talked about that for Halloween, but we were ready to fuck up with the camera. So, um... Dry ice anticipates almost instantly. So the party, uh, retreated from the horrible, horrible cave. You guys head into town. You guys got some stuff done. You met some new NPCs. Your characters, people, real people, they're real people. Anyway, real. Um, you guys got some shopping done, some basic pickup stuff. Indeed. You guys waited patiently, sharpened some objects. Um, I wish I had more to sharpen. I bought my object sharpened. Yeah, <laughs> I got a pre shop. <coughs> you know what? I'll say because you did such a good job, you can add a plus one to damage once. The <laughs> next, the next thing you hit, I'm okay with that. One extra Aww, damage. Oh, nice. That's that's what it did. Nice uh, idea. Give it a hit, right? Killer. I think you spent all that time doing it. Might as well. So that's for each of you. You each get one. I don't care how many times what weapons he sharpened. One weapon will do it one time. And that's it. <laughs> that way I don't have to be like, oh, See, well, has he has team too much on the other weapons. Things. Right. So pick what weapon you want to use. Um, like. So you guys started your um, your trek through the north... The grasslands. Western road. What? Um, through the grasslands. Zongek was running around having a good time. You guys were having a very uh, innuendo exchange. You're showing Sprocket the world. And you rock. <laughs> yeah. So um, I'm, 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 I'm letting him look at the world. I've seen stuff like this before. It doesn't interest me. I think it would interest him. I'm looking at my <laughs> rock. That's interesting to me. He likes rockets. Yeah. Look no, look. look at, see, look at the fields. Are we having fun? Um, <laughs> he's, like, <laughs> he's like hanging upside down. <laughs> I'm meticulous. <laughs> <laughs> when you notice some kind of different. No, it's like it's like this. It's like when you're walking and you're just like yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah you know. The um, with the kids on the leash, really quiet. You're just confused in the middle. There's a lot of weird <laughs> shit going on. So many things going so on. So many things happening. I mean, it's definitely not the, uh, the, uh, what do you call it? It's not the average day in, in, uh, Merchant's Crossing, but it's a, it is a thing. Usually there'll be Thunderdomes by now. People be kicking the shit out of each other. That's what you look for. I'd be the road warrior. You guys remember that? Merchant's Crossing had a Thunderdome. It's still there. Yeah. You grew up with it. People have two people have problems. They go into the ring. They kick the shit out of each other. And the guards split them up before they kill each other. Whoever wins wins. Good for them. Cool it's based story, on the Dad. crowd. So, huh? It's based cool on what? Story, Dad. You're just remembering. No, no. He's just remembering. It's based it. on what? Huh? It's based, based on the on crowd. crowd. It's based on the crowd. So the you crowd. can win the fight and lose. Yeah, if the crowd doesn't uh, take it out. Like it. So basically, yeah, the, 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 it's based on the crowd. I thought you were saying it was based on a thing called the crowd, and I was trying to like, figure out what the it? word you had said. I'm like, crowd doesn't make sense in anything. No, yeah, they That's they decide who was right in the argument. And just like in medieval times, you can have somebody stand in for you. So you can be a tiny mousey fuck and have like an ogre walk into the room for you. You're like, well, this sucks. <laughs> Get him, Lenny. <laughs> just send Why out do I feel the big guy would just have me go in there instead? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, um, with that being said, you guys continue your trek. The walk is about six hours. Um, nice. You guys exited about two, and it's a, it's a long walk, and there's plenty of things to keep you kind of like looking around, talking amongst yourselves, um, which is why I wanted to make sure everyone got to uh, do I found something. scat. Just walks up with poop. Don't eat that. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Thank you, Zongak. I'm sure you... Slide a hand. <laughs> no, or you do that little kid thing where they go... And then they do... <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to stop me. So, um, for the sake of brevity, we're going we're gonna to jump you straight into uh, towards town. So... Um, from the outside, you find yourself crossing into, uh, let me make sure I got everything, yep. So, uh, you find yourself approaching a smallish sort of, uh, community. Uh, it, it starts pretty far out, and these houses have big gaps between them. These, uh, farmsteads with small fenced-in yards, some, uh, carting the basics from agriculture to, you can hear livestock, and you can see, uh, animals grazing, but you find yourself crossing into the town 
uh, just before the Orndor Forest edge. So as it kind of gets closer to you, you know, as you're closing that gap and on the outside you can see what is the Orndor Forest and what you can look forward to being, you know, maybe another run in with Manticores. Oh, you, uh, you find yourself uh, in, in this city. The small village consists of a few wooden buildings as you head into the main central point of the town. There's a few wooden buildings uh, lining up the right side of the road. All pressed, uh, all pressed up against the, the except the last building, which sits lazily against um, the river at the western edge of town, halfway into the tree line itself. Scattered amongst the area, you can see a small farmhouses and little cottages that litter this whole wide area, each at varying distances all around you. And as you approach, dusk settling um, over the horizon, the night time begins to sort of like truly set in. Um, you can see a number of town folks in the street have begun to all head to what appears to be a large arf, uh, arched arf, arf, uh, arched roof <laughs> building in the center of town. Um, as you approach that large wooden building, you see people talking amongst themselves. They seem low voices and um, talk rather quickly. As you approach this large wooden building, long and rectangular in its construction with a high arched tiled roof, you can hear uh, an audible um, rabble from within, this sort of uh, large... Uh, massive voices rabble, just rabble, 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 rabble. <laughs> from within. Uh, the doors here are partially ajar, and as you approach, a man peers out uh, out from the door for a moment, preparing to slam the door closed. Um, Hi. And as he sees all of you, he kind of looks, and then he motions all of you to get inside. So you guys head inside the, the door, and he closes it. Um, as he closes it behind you, you see them put a large uh, sort of plank of wood into the door, um, and they begin kind of moving the tables and chairs that are in this building up against the, the door itself. Um, inside, you can see a large number of per people all in an uproar. Children cling to their mother's legs um, as our large groups of angry uh, workers carouse on the western edge of the room um, where you can see a large elevated podium. In front of that podium stands a tall, portly man wearing a large straw sun hat um, he has a linen tunic that's stained with sweats underneath, uh, sweat stains underneath. Um, he wipes sweat from his brow as he tips his hat up, and he calls out towards the crowd in a loud uh, voice. Ladies and gentlemen, please, if everyone would just calm down. We pulled our money, and we sent a letter off some days ago. Should be no time at all before we receive some aid from the local guilds. I have a letter. Um, not very loud. Uh, here, 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 all right, so did you want to ask him something first? Oh, no, I was just... Something that caught my attention is he's like, the guy's holding the door open, closes it, puts the thing down, and then they start moving stuff in front of a door that opens outward. And it, <laughs> like it, it broke my brain for a second, and I got confused. Uh, I think it was like a sliding door. No, no, it opens outward. It closes on, but it's still putting shit yeah, in front it. Yeah, it. it still obstructs it, but yeah. it, it was just like... It's still a barricade. The five feet in front of that door is difficult to create. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's As he's calling kids. out, I'll start making my way up to where that gentleman is, because I am willing to pay <laughs> money. His last name is Griswold. Uh, at which point, he uh, he continues his... Uh, now, I know you're all scared. Health, I am too. But it ain't to be done until someone finds these monsters and put an end to them. Now I recommend we continue barring up the doors just like we did last night and the night before. Everyone get cozy, and we're going to stay right here. My hands smell like poop. Jump up onto the stage. Yeah. <sighs> Hopefully I made it. They'll, uh, yeah, it's I not am. very tall. Yes. It's like a step up. It's a, it's <laughs> like a soapbox a more than a, you yeah, know. Yeah, I mean, it's large, but it's just like, <laughs> like, maybe like that far. Yeah. So you guys all, uh, you jump up on the stage. He kind of looks to you, and over in the crowd kind of goes, <gasps> you know. I believe those people are us. Make a performance check. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello. 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 That Hello. is going to be... Holy shit, Hello. that's a lot. 20... Hello. Like your shirt. Hello. 22. Hello. Hello. 22. You're greeted by uh, the stunned gasps of the entire room. <laughs> There's this collective... <gasps> inner mall. And then... Dead say, silence. What, and Andy. Dead <laughs> silence. My name is Maul. These are my adventuring compatriots. And we have received... Your request. <laughs> I'm going to say that's Did canon. that just happen? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> the awkward episode. All right. So they all kind of look at you. 
uh, the big uh, portly gentleman kind of turns. You notice he's shorter than you, standing about like five five, but he's uh, wide, almost like dwarfish in construction. You know, he's got like those barrel shoulders. Looks probably like a lumberjack, but he's just thick in the middle. Half dwarf. So and uh, he used to work the farms, and then he stopped and got fat. No, no, he just got fat while working the farms. <laughs> <laughs> Picks and corn. I don't think he's making that much you. money. Corn for me. Corn for me. Uh, <laughs> one for you. Corn for me. Two for me. <laughs> two for you. Or three for you. One, two, three for me. <laughs> um, at which point he kind of he kind of looks at you and he's like, "Gods, you you guys came to fight these things to find them? Yes. They 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 have some of our people. Everyone, go back to, go back to doing what you're doing." And he kind of like pulls you off to the side. He kind of. Uh, Pulls you into like the corner off the stage as everyone kind of talks amongst themselves now, whispering uh, low, but it's still raucous in this. He looked really this cool room. until he found all that fucking paper. No one's talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> They're all more or less like. Oh, they would find him. I hope everyone's okay. Blah 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 blah. blah. I want to climb up on the stage. Okay. So I can hear. You uh, climb up on the stage. They're, you're basically just shoehorned into the corner, and you guys kind of have like a private area where you can chat. Uh, the mayor's still holding on to his like shirt. He looks sweaty and tired. Um, He's been working all day. He has been working all day. Working on that sweat. Ma's a hero of the people. Um, he's like, he puts his big meaty sort of hand out and just kind of shrinks her hand with like that over-exaggerated uh, fervor. At which point he's like, I'm a Hans Duval. That character dude, your fucking wrist makes way too much noise. <laughs> 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 like, I felt it and I was like, is that mine? No, that's his. It's cracking. Yeah. Um, he didn't brace on He, uh, he introduced himself as uh, Hans Duval, and he's just like, he's like, yeah, we were worried that maybe it didn't reach, reach anybody. We had, uh, it came in the night, two nights ago, mm -hmm. uh, large, uh, shade, shade-skinned creatures. They smelled horrible. They sacked a couple buildings. They took some, some farmers. Um, and some families from up the road. Um, more, more, more on the uh, edges of the, the forest here, but people won't even go back to the lumber mill. Mm -hmm. They're too scared. It smells atrocious up there. We think they might have uh, been using it uh, to watch us. And, I mean, that's our main source of income. We, we ship lumber all throughout this area, so, I mean, we need to get back. All right, first question, obviously, do you have any uh, anything other than just them being dark-skinned? Maybe walking um, on all fours? They seemed human, but they were uh, from, I mean, I didn't see them myself. I live on the other side of town. Mm -hmm. But from the people in here, there's varying reports. Some said they had hair. Uh, they had, they were large, bulbous. Um, They're about the same size as any, any normal man or woman, five or six feet. Did they communicate, talk, even if you didn't understand it? Um, they did. They, they spoke in a language that none of us understood. Okay, all right. And rum corrosive. So you think they may have been using, they may have been using the lumber mill. Do you happen to have? Did anybody happen to notice which way they dragged the people they took? Uh, in the direction of the lumber mill over the the river there. Gotcha. Um, uh, what what kind of smell? Um, uh, specifically. Does it smell like this? And I hold up my hands. He kind of like he does not lean in. Uh, no, <laughs> no, he kind of um, like. I mean, well, I have scat smell. Pardon me, man, but like. Shit or um, filth, filth, refuse, like, like awful. rotting flesh. Is the word you're looking for? Or, no. Or oh, so awful. like my hands. Got it. I mean, there's definitely a smell of, of carry on about them. Um, we've been noticing in the last week there's been an increase in animals gone missing. Mm -hmm. uh, there's been some brutal signs of. Uh, We've seen some marred corpses of some deer in the local area that we've never seen before. We thought maybe like a, a cat came down from the mountain or something and, and ate them, but I ain't never seen a cat do nothing like this. Have they been back since? Every night or um, just, just the once? we've been gathering in the town square to pull every, or in the, the in the town hall building to pull everybody away from that. <laughs> there has been noises in the night. We think they might be scouring the town, mm -hmm. getting comfortable moving further and further out. Um, Hello. Could I do like check to see if I know what kind of animal that could be? Animal? Have those. Or he said yeah, they're I basically. He, I, I'm getting from him. They're basically humans. They are humanoid. Yeah. Or like what kind of? Have they left any signs in your village? After the night? 
No written. I guess no creature then. Dif- displacement of buildings, no breaking of windows. Um, they've broken Death. windows and doors the, uh, on the houses that we found the, or that we discovered the next morning that were missing. They broke in. Um, some of those doors were splintered pretty good. There's um, woods broken off and signs of struggle. A lot of uh, a lot of broken furniture and stuff. They broke like almost everything that they encountered. Is there any other way in and out of this building, or is that the only door? That is the only door into this right. building. And uh, do, do you have anybody that heard them speak? A number of people heard them whispering. Can uh, we talk to one of them so we could maybe figure out what? And my brain stops. What we might be <laughs> dealing with? Yeah. Uh, a number of, uh, he kind of pulls, he kind of looks, and then he's like, oh, excuse me. Hey. Waddles. While he's gone, I'd like to prep, prep and, and talk to my team real quick before he gets back. Our options right now, we did have a very long day thus far. If you guys want to wait out tonight and tomorrow, we'll go investigate the lumber mill. Alternatively, we can head out right now in the town and do some recon, maybe attack them in the night. I say we head out right now mm-hmm. so that if we do not catch them tonight, we could pursue them because they have hostages, which may or may not be alive. And I'm glad you said that. Now, my next thing is this. I think that we should go out, station ourselves within, obviously, range, but, you know, you attack from a distance. I bought this fucking crossbow. So I feel like if you and I <laughs> post up on top of a building <laughs> while, you know, the rest of our more melee fighters are, are on the ground or hidden, just if we can try and... I want to try and get the jump on these guys. If we can get a jump on them without them seeing us, we can maybe subdue one and not kill it. I can't see in the dark. Neither can I. That's I guess it's correct. So I can't see it's only this side. Yeah, that was the seating right there. But yep. you can shoot fireballs. I've seen you do it. Um, I can't, uh, but it's, it it doesn't work as well if I don't know what I'm shooting at. Are you seeing anything? Sorry. Well, <laughs> if I, how about I this? If I see something... I set it on fire. Oh, okay, that, that works. And then it's a bright light everywhere. And then I get more. Correct. You will get <laughs> And Theta, if you would like, you can take this crossbow instead and post up <laughs> He's trying to rid of it now. somewhere else. <laughs> uh, and once he get immolates right. whatever it is, I have two no of you use can for attack. crossbow. And she's from a distance. I think you can only use hand. I'm crossbow. proficient yeah. in the yeah, crossbow, but I'm not going to shoot it. I, I mean, I can probably shoot it once. <laughs> it's a light crossbow. <laughs> no, you can shoot it. I'm proficient you just wouldn't be able to add the proficiency bonus. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to use it. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. <laughs> he puts it away. <laughs> Maybe you can return it to that nice gentleman. I'm in not going to do that because I'm missing one it. of the bolts. <laughs> For store credit. <laughs> yeah. That's you're missing Store two. credit. Oh, I need a gift card in this amount. At which point, uh, you notice the mayor comes back over and he brings over what appears to be uh, a mousy young woman. Um, she seems, uh, she's sweating uh, in the hot day. She's probably worked alongside of some of these people. She's in a loose-fitting uh, dress, and as she approaches, Ooh, she doesn't really make contact. She just kind of like looks at you, comment suspiciously. And when uh, the mayor brings her up, he's like, he's like, no, no, dear, please, just, just let it, just tell him what you heard. Um, and she begins to regale you with uh, almost like a, a, a narrative horror story. They came in the night. Uh, my neighbors were uh, so cliche. Battening down, <laughs> right? We're batting down for the night yeah, when we heard so they heard noises, and then my family heard some screams. We peeped outside to see these dark silhouettes, um, large and almost like obese in nature, um, kind of maneuvering about the property. Uh, long hair. They wielded um, strange-looking. Weapons, uh, mostly all. They just seemed like we'll call it like a mass in the night. You, know, you couldn't really tell what it was or Wait, what. Pull up my axe. Is it like this? Like a bone, your bone axe? Yeah. She nods. What color hair, skin? When you say bulbous, do you mean like fat bulbous? As you say that, she kind of eyes the mayor for a minute and then just kind of like. Uh, oh, 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 good. Then it, he it, doesn't it, seem it, to notice. He's just kind of standing there like. Good job. <laughs> 20 on that awkward check. <laughs> I do have a question. My people aren't really fat. No. Okay. Mm-hmm. So after she said they're fat, I'm like, oh. okay, you're good. Yeah, no. Right. Ooh, um, but that is what she regales you with. And then she regales you that uh, when that started happening, she could hear the screams and she saw them drag them out alive. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Did you hear any of them speak? Yes. Can you regale us with just maybe a word that you picked out, or... No, with an H, she can't. <laughs> she attempts to regale you with the best of your knowledge. Mm-hmm. What languages does everybody speak? Deep speech. And... Infernal. Common. Common goblin and ingen. Ingwen. Angwen. Well, I know these bastards aren't speaking. Modron. Them. Common, elvish, dwarvish, gnomish, thief scamp. Common, silver, elvish, gizzle. None of you understand that. Uh, even with the best attempt. She gives us some syllables and we're like, it, that could be Yiddish. Yeah, yeah. is it just that <laughs> it, her rendition is so poor or that we just don't speak the language? Probably both. Okay. <laughs> Which is fine. Yeah. And by probably, I mean definitely on the second part, none of you speak the language. And okay. thirdly, she's doing a terrible job. Excellent. Trying to sound out weird so words. Is this German? I don't right. know. We go, yeah. um, we'll kill some things. Well, yeah. I have uh, so, so a question. Um, do, do people only get attacked at night? Or have people they come been... out at night. Mostly. Mostly. Yeah. Has anybody um, who's been attacked uh, survived? Or has anybody been... Um, okay. Everyone's been taken. Or killed. If anybody... It, no, just nope. taken. If anybody survived, um, the mayor kind of chimes in. He's like, if anybody survived, they didn't They didn't come back. They they must have ran, but we haven't seen anyone that's come to us. Um, Was there any consistency in the victims? Were they all male, all women? Just anybody that could get... Yeah! Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, I was thinking <laughs> that too. Um, he shakes his head. It was just f- family farmsteads. Looks like it's a really crappy family day. Yeah. <laughs> um, does the sweating of the is it warm in here? Yes, it's probably about like ninety five. Okay. There's also so that sweating a ton of people. Normal. Yeah, and then it's a shitload of people in the room. Yeah. <laughs> well, the sweating is probably from their long day of work that they did prior uh, to coming into here. From their description, does it sound anything like those people that were transporting the the cool carriage? No. No, because okay. he said they were, those were lithe well, like, with pointed nose, and their weapons and their armor was very well made. Well, I didn't know yeah. if it if it sounded like those things, like, that they wore that at that one time, and they got, like, infected with something. So that's what I was wondering. Like Sherlock Holmes says, don't don't put your evidence to fit your story. Occam's Just razor. Okay. I have Let's go use Occam's razor. All right. I have an idea. Yeah. <laughs> Sir. Yeah. Well, if they're only coming at night, maybe uh, they can't see well in the sunlight. So maybe we or maybe their peepers the hurt. Or they can't be in the sunlight. Maybe it hurts them. And we can ambush them at Which the mill. Which was an option I, I put out there, but Theta brings up a very interesting point. They do have hostages. And the hostages have been there for two days. If they were going to kill them, they could have. Uh, maybe we should just scout them They also now don't know we're in town, so why would they have any initiative to go kill them now? After... They're probably going to eat them. You know, he's got a good point. If if we do go out there tonight and we do manage to do any damage, that may cause them to attack the map. hostages. Did you make that? I made it for myself, yeah. The map of the town. <laughs> it was for my reference. <laughs> I think we should hold out here tonight. And Get some rest. In the, we have been traveling for a very In the morning, day. we'll head to the lumber mill, and if we're lucky, we'll catch them on our wires. So we don't want to um, have anybody scout tonight. And... Also, why open the doors when they just barricaded it? Well, that, that's their fault. Well, no, I mean, if they're already out there, they come here at night. It's yeah. already nighttime. Why open the doors and let everybody know that they're Are in there the any, like, windows on this place? To the windows. It's, uh, it's probably just a meeting hall. They usually a leave the door open. hall? The, yeah. Okay. Um, so why, why, you know, why make more victims if we don't have to? Are there raptors? All right. Well, sir, um, we'll be staying in here with all of you tonight, and then tomorrow, first thing, we'll head to the lumber mill. And... Hopefully solve your problem within the within the day. Um, he nods, and then uh, you see people already begin to settle in around the outside, and then kind of like using tables as dividers for small groups of families. Yeah, um, we all thought it. They settle in. Uh, you guys do the same. Uh, I'm gonna go sit next to the door. Okay, so you head next to the yes, door. I will as well. Okay. Just put. Uh, yeah, I'll go as close as I can. Are there raptors yes. that are exposed? Yes. <laughs> You're, You're gonna freak people out, man. <laughs> I am the knight. It climbs. <laughs> <laughs> I am the knight. <laughs> Are there any handholds I could climb up, or no? You could probably make your way up there. You're pretty am- ambulatory. I, don't know. <laughs> I can think of a good word. Yeah, I'm you gonna can climb dexterous. up. That's the word. That'd be better. I'm gonna just climb up there, and so I could get a vantage point of. All right, make a uh, athletics check. Oh, that's cool. Just to pull yourself up. At least that's what I'm going to tell them, but I really just want to be up there. I have a nine. That is a 14. 14, yeah. 
easy enough. You grab on it, you dig those like sort of like pointed hands into the wood. As you do though, you hear a couple <gasps> Yeah. And then a couple people kind of stare. Sorry. I just stop and go, hi. He, uh, he's We're crawling like up to be able to see right <laughs> vantage point better. <laughs> they just kind of whisper amongst themselves immediately and recoil away Sorry. from any, <laughs> any Sorry. closeness that they had to you. It's all good. Um, so yeah, you two sit by the door. I'm also wearing a bunch Bringing of clothes with stage. holes and okay. blood stains and I'm missing an ear. Yeah. yeah. So I'm sure it looks It's fine. Lovely. It's fine. <laughs> he's okay. Do you hear the fine leader? Go. So as you guys... Um, Settle in for the evening. You notice people begin to wind down. Uh, Fathers and mothers watch children until they pass out, and then they seem to retire as well. The mayor uh, leans up against the the back wall of the stage. They're going to sleep. I don't want to waste a good speech on them. You wanted to make a speech before them. She wanted me to make a speech. No, I just said you could. You want to. You're holding it in. Because, I mean, like, the kids are passing out. They're probably not going to notice anymore. There is a decent amount of, like, chatter in the room. It's not... Boost that noise. Everyone... If I can have your attention very quickly. My name is Ma, and I know that guy. As one of the adventurers that has come here to, to fix your problem, and we will fix your problem. I just want to reassure all of you that while we are different in our appearance, factioning and fractaling ourselves is not the way to go. We all look different. He's tiny and red, <laughs> but regardless of our differences, we will be together in this fight. So sleep well tonight, citizens, and we will have you back in your homes this time tomorrow. May I you here? All I all I hear right now is the power of the oh! song. Yeah. Citizens yeah. Oh no. Persuasion. Yep. Uh, you notice yeah. amongst the crowd a couple people kind of like... I thought it was a one. I'll, yeah. I'll clap. It's worse. <laughs> Most clap. people seem to... You know, they seem genuinely feeling better. <laughs> Do the nice guy pose. <laughs> so, throughout the night. Sleeping? Yeah. Sleeping? 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 I'm gonna stay up for I can't sleep. a couple hours and then pass out. Okay. Um... As you're in your uh, trance to chill, or your, I don't know what the hell, I think it's still called trance. Yeah, it's still As you kind of sit there, um, from outside you can hear uh, crickets. You hear the occasional uh, cry of like a night bird, maybe a hawk or an owl. Um, and then something else, uh, not nearby, but you can hear heavy footfalls, this sort of like wet slapping sound. Of, oh, it's always wet. And then oh. you can hear a couple of them, a few more kind of it join in. Sound. And then you hear a, a sort of low, like, and then you hear more of them, like, and then you wait, and they begin to sort of move away from you, and then you can hear crunching of grass moving into presumably the grasslands or the grass areas, you hear breaking of twigs, you can hear uh, the stress of metal as something, like, but, like, pushes itself up against it, and then you can hear this, like, And then it moves away. Uh, and as it begins to happen, uh, a number of people in the that are kind of like resting, uh, you notice them kind of and begin to kind of look around. Uh, men and women uh, spread out through this whole open area, kind of begin to perk up. Uh, most of the kids still seem to be passed out. Um, what is your passive perception? Twelve. Am I still awake or am I? No, you'd be out by now. Okay. Uh, yeah. 12. 12? 12. 12. Uh, you all actually do hear um, these these sort of like large noises they, uh, through the streets. And then the strange like almost sucking sound. Um, it's like heavy breath intakes as they, uh, whatever they are, move about the, the word theta, is, is, his, is his sleeping mode light still? <laughs> is, it blink- <laughs> is he blinking instead of on? Um, I'd say you're still in your trance. You can yeah, still I'd, hear it. And I'd, I'd be like half-lid. <laughs> so like, like, like he's trying to one, pass out. Are you yeah, one, like a yeah, warning sound? One, no, I, I always make a very, very light warning sound. <laughs> is it a different um, warning sound? It's... <laughs> Unless he's agitating, then no, it's, it's the, my, my top eyelid just gives up. 
Like, it's just, <laughs> like one of those dolls that, that you yeah. put in the back yeah. and they go to sleep and it breaks. Yeah. Just one. So, like, you still see. Mm-hmm. It's not covering the people the, the people or anything. It's just, mm-hmm. and that's, you know, it's resting one. state. All right. <laughs> You're in sleep mode. Yeah. yeah. Um... <laughs> Yeah, that's what I imagine. <laughs> I hate that shit. I hate pulsing. Um, something you tell me they're all to <laughs> by the door. You hear a, a, a press, <coughs> something pushing. There's this like <coughs> sound, and then right up against the the door, you can hear this. <sighs> and then it seems to get quiet, and then you can hear. See, he he moving away people. from the from the center of the building. The other other. The rest of the night passes, seemingly without incident. Hmm. You guys awake. Uh, first thing in the morning, having slept, having been only woken up for a moment, so nothing uh, detrimental. And as you rouse yourself, you notice that a couple of the uh, townsfolk did not go back to sleep. They were kind of like oh. wide-eyed and looking around. Bodies. Uh, Bodies. <laughs> they have like the bags under their eyes. They kind of stare expectantly at the <laughs> adventurers come to save them. They're still <laughs> zonked out, um, but they just kind of... And then sun rises. Hear a couple calls of uh, a rooster. There's still a rooster out there. <laughs> they don't know when to call. Shall we? Let's uh, what? And uh, then just let's wait for the door to be clear first. I don't want to make an throwing their shit. acrobatics check. Okay. I was trying to think of what it would be. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, nice. Natural twenty plus three. So <laughs> twenty. <laughs> it is an epic display of just. Acrobatic prowess. Weep. He like kind of almost like cartwheels down. It's like an Assassin's Weep. Creed moment. Yeah, <laughs> lands with a choreograph. Si- silent. Uh, while I do it, I go. What? So he screamed, but it would have been quiet otherwise. <laughs> um, I will begin moving the villager stuff like out from in front of the door. Yeah, well, I will aid him. <laughs> Super awkward. Anybody that wasn't asleep is now awake. Until he hits that fucking one word, just starts vibrating and then. <laughs> All right, so as you guys uh, begin moving stuff away, the townsfolk begin to uh, get up. A uh, number of the uh, men that were still awake come over and help you begin unloading. Um... Oh, you have my thigh. Thigh. He's <laughs> just going to tell that to a random stranger? <laughs> nice thigh. I know, it was you. I thought somebody came up to you and said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you had a different accent. <laughs> it was because my tongue being pressed on my food. <laughs> 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 the guy next to you kind of stops, <laughs> looks down. Uh oh, he's gonna eat your thigh. And he walks around to the other side and begins helping people on the other <laughs> side. <laughs> the pile pulls stuff. I off. haven't eaten in two days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, is there a um, breakfast buffet? Is this <laughs> We're sitting in it. He gets very. <laughs> he gets very I mean, there's people everywhere. You can eat whatever you want. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> you guys unload, you guys open the doors. You're greeted by uh, morning sunlight coming up. I want to look for any signs of that thing being here. Um, yeah, right in front of the door. Perception. You can see uh, these like sort of like sodden footprints. And as you look, they seem to be like partially dried, well, mostly dried now. But you can see that it seems to be a reddish sort of substance combined with the uh, dirt from the road that makes this kind of like... Smell it. Good job. You uh, lean down and smell it. It smells like pennies, copper, huh. blood. No pennies and copper. It's raw copper. It's worth a fortune. No, <laughs> like oh. just start stealing. Oh them. my god! Oh my god! So yeah, smelling it, you would definitely get a sense of blood. Um, it the footfall. It's human. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna turn around. Put my head back in the door. We go. Where is the lumber mill? Uh, the mayor who's been popped up for a minute. He uh, is stretching <laughs> as you ask, and he's just like. It's down the road, the same way you came. Oh, okay. So basically, if you continue on, oh, it, it, this this town literally has one road. <laughs> it goes yeah. straight through. It. I figured as much, but I was like, where? Begin. Okay, you're gonna begin. So, as you guys uh, begin to funnel out of the the um, the town hall, you notice that now getting a better sense of everything. There's a couple buildings scattered along this side, and as you see them, you notice that they are emblazoned with symbol. There's like a tailor. There's a small blacksmithy. Um, they probably get the sense makes tools and stuff. This is all for local people. This isn't like a big com- communal sort of like trade area or anything. Let me get my recent stuff here so I can open up the. Doubt they would have weapons. 
the weren't all I mean, at one point farm tools? No, think a sword. <laughs> Alright, so immediately to your right, you can see a, uh, it's a sort of like, almost like a, a octagonal shaped <laughs> building with a nice little tiled roof. It's old and it's been weathered, but um, it has uh, saloon style doors mm-hmm. in the front and two little columns that hold up a little thatched roof kind of thing. And it looks like it was added on after the fact, not uh, natural to it, but on the wall emblazoned is just a picture of a mug. And as you look, you can a see mug? there's like, yeah, a mug, a little handle. Um, and as you see, there's like there's like what appears to be like that same sort of like uh, viscous muddish material that looks now red um, is like scraped up against something had clearly walked through that area. Um, there's footprints everywhere. It's really hard to tell. You can see the occasional like uh, what blood soaked one. Um, behind that, further to your to your right, you see what appears to be just a nondescript building closed with a large sort of uh, industrial sized door. Um, that just kind of sits there. Further up the road, you can see as uh, cresting over the river, there is a building that's actually built over it. There's a large water wheel that's currently attached. You can see it from the from here, but it's you know small. It's a distance away. Um, to your left, as you exit out the town hall building that you missed before, was a uh, you almost walked right past it. Didn't really realize this small circular forge building with a little wrap around um, sort of a shop. And that's the blacksmithy that you get gather. Um, further in, there's a couple more small buildings that you can't really tell what they are from here, but just kind of litter um, this this one side of the road. Everything's on this one side. On the outside of the bar, does that look fresh? That stuff is smeared? Mm. Um, Not so much smeared as it just kind of like contact transfer. Something just walked through it. Didn't like it. Didn't okay. deliberately okay. do gotcha. this. Okay. It's like the paint on my shirt just happened. <laughs> just kind of happens. <laughs> like, okay. um, all right, so. Get my uh, thing right here. So you guys head towards the lumber mill? Mm-hmm. Uh, when I get there, I want to look for tracks and see what uh, direction they're going in. Uh, make a survival check. Survive that shit. It's going to be 11. Uh, looking at the, um, the tracks that kind of scatter, you get the sense that whatever these things are, they were moving around a lot. They seem to have been searching. Uh, the area for probably more people, uh, but they seem to be unsuccessful. Um, you notice that most of the tracks head towards the lumber mill in that direction, and then only a few actually extend this far uh, south of that, right, into this area. You get the sense that whatever group approached the door probably was smaller than the... Uh, the body. The body of man. All this shit ain't old Dan Jenkins. Lumber mill, let's go. Okay, so you guys uh, cross into the main street. You see people exiting out, and they begin to sort of uh, head across fields towards their farmsteads, presumably. Um, move about, and as you you head, continue heading northwest into towards the lumber mill. The lumber mill sits on a high base of mismatched stone and mortar, rimmed in thick wooden beams that tie together this hulking frame of a building. Um, the skeletal sort of like structure of it, it's it's more of a open workspace and not an enclosed one. Sure. Um, you see a large metal saw that erupts from the floor. Uh, um, from this distance, as you're, this is all as you approach. Um, you, most of you would know that there have been like, especially with the increase of magic, a lot of uh, tinkerers and and especially with like dwarves and gnomish tinkerers, uh, a lot of strides have been made. So this is an actually, it is an automated saw. It saws automatically with the press of the river, and even from here you can see it faintly <laughs> sawing up and down as it uses water power from the river to spin, which causes it to work nice. its way up and down. That's cool. um, so it, even in this small community, it, it, is, it is a staple. It is a, that's a big deal, especially for like guys like you who've never seen. Mm-hmm. You've heard of things like that. like You know, um, you are less impressed as that's a normal yeah. occurrence that's where you're just, from. Yeah. However, you do notice like you would be pretty shocked to see something like that. You don't even know what the hell it is. You know? It's a <laughs> building with a, with a thing that's moving. <laughs> Um, so, you can hear the rhythm, rhythmic grind of the saw as it, you know, moves up and down and in place, propelled by the running river and the giant water wheel um, that's currently running through it. Off to one side, you can see a large, freshly uh, cut stack of long trees, and to the left, you can see mounds of shavings that have just been kind of like, you know, pushed off to the side. They've been shoveling the uh, the sawdust into into a pile on the other side. Um, 
All around this raised platform on all sides are large piles of woods, and as you approach, that cruel smell begins to permeate the open air. A combination of raw dirt, feces, dried blood, and death. Uh, sound, a smell that you are becoming, unfortunately, familiar with as you uh, continue on your... And it wafts, almost like emanating from this area. Uh, and it gets stronger the further in. And this is when you realize, as you approach, that the reason why these footprints are wet is because they are walking through the water. They're just walking through okay. the river. The river doesn't seem very deep. It looks like something you could wade through. Are they maybe crossing it? Yeah. They're definitely crossing it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so that's where you get the sense. And as you look on the other side, it's harder to tell where the, you know, they wash that water off and then they begin to walk on the other side. So the footprints almost like die into the water and then they only stretch for so far. And this is, this is the same for both sides. Mm-hmm. But you do notice that there are definitive footprints that look humanoid, like maybe slightly larger than your average person. Um, that kind of like trudge over top of this area, and you even see uh, dried blood from what you imagine something might have collided with that saw at one point. Probably not intentionally. Mm-hmm. Talk amongst yourself, ladies. Oh, I was going to take a quick check around the lumber mill. I'm going to look for bodies and look for yep. anything. Just uh, oh, we have to the, It's not anybody like me, but they probably are eating people. Yep. Also, I would like to point out, <clears throat> we're not the only adventurers. We're not. Why did anybody else take this contract? Um, I think, well, they had just put it up as soon as we got there. And then, um, a day and a half ago. For a day and a half. But um, also, I, it doesn't look very busy. There might be other things that are going on. Two days ago. So. They might also be upset because of the whole face fly bird thingies. Oh, Manacles. That's the, um, <laughs> <laughs> Ultimately, they had a, this probably doesn't pick up on a lot of people's ra- radar. It's a podunk town outside of, I mean... Well, I understand. I just meant that whether or not we save the people, mm-hmm. someone else could have done it. Yes. The difference being maybe we're just doing it out of ulterior motives or the kindness of our hearts. But other people feel that the trip out here, whatever time, risks they may take, aren't worth it if they're not going to gain prestige, honor. Plus, uh, the reward might be too small for some groups to take. Regardless, though, we should search the lumber mill first. Hey, so you guys are taking a moment to search the lumber yep. mill? Mm-hmm. Um, how much time do you want to take search the lumber mill? Just, Just um, um, I would like, 20, 30, 20 minutes, like yeah. to go by the, the river and, like, go and... On the other side of the river? No, no. Yeah, I don't want to go it, on the other. S- I'm gonna go. Go. I'll go to the other side of the river and scream as I walk through the water. Oh, um, <laughs> can't you want to just cut through the lumber mill? No. I feel like you could probably do that. Huh? No, I was gonna. Well, if they're if they left across the river, we're gonna have to go that way anyway. So. Well, I'm thinking. I'm assuming I'm the lumber mill straddles the river. Yeah, right? the, so the lumber mill almost serves as like a bridge. Oh, okay. So you can actually walk over it. Okay, then I do that. <laughs> as you as you approach, you can just see this. I mean, I'm not looking for traps or treasure, yeah. but I do oh. want to see if there's any like obvious, like, oh, there's a body here. Traps or treasure. <laughs> He's like, I'm not looking for them. But I am, though. Well, right. I mean, um, whoever wants to search this area, go ahead and make an yeah. investigation check. If you're watching the the woods for a Well, I want to look at the woods, and then I want to see if there's footprints on the wall. I don't have anything to put in there. Nice. They want it. No, the, this river is pretty decently fast moving, hence the ability to propel a large. There's a ton of logs. So the. You get the sense that, <laughs> that sediment would be pretty quickly uh, washed away. Then I'll I'll take a glance at that, and then I'll look at the woods. Nineteen. Yay! I got a fucking eight. Eight. <laughs> um, so uh, looking we'll around everywhere, you you find uh, you find a large number of footprints for one, easily um, anywhere from ten or more uh, sets of individual footprints, varying in sizes. Only a careful eye you can tell that there's. Um, very like very slight Analysis differences. Complete. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like spinning like a fucking. Print out comes up the side. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, and you I do find <laughs> marks. <laughs> you notice hand and claw marks. Uh, humanoid nature trying to keep themselves from being uh, drugged. You notice that some of them go straight through the water, and other ones are being drugged over top of the uh, this sort of like blood sti- stain. Not a lot. It's like a little bit, and you get the sense that these have probably been here for a couple of days because they haven't reported more than one snatching necessarily. So 
uh, you walking around, you see some of the similar things. What you get the sense is that while not the only method, they have been dragging people through this area mm -hmm. because of the naturally occurring bridge. It's probably simpler to, you know, pull a thrashing individual yeah. over that way. Um, what's your perception? Uh, you're watching out the north side. That's nice. One. What are you doing? I have 12. I was searching. Searching as well. You get a lot of the same things that uh, he gets. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I was going to... I was gonna look around the other side to see if there's if the footprints are dying out. I was looking for other signs of them, just like dry blood, or maybe if they shit in there, they might have walked and poop. So I'm looking. Go ahead for and make a. a All right, survival. So look for a survival to try to track the footprints out of the main area. That's worse. That's a seven. <laughs> seven. Um, looking through, yeah, you see a number of uh, footprints emerging from the water, um, but the ground here is not like dirt like the other yeah. side where you get this more traversed. There is a dirt path that seems to be well traveled as they've been logging in this area and pulling trees from the forest uh, to their facility. But most of this is overgrowth, um, so it's been walked on. There you see matted down pieces, but not a definitive uh, direction. Yeah, it hasn't been walked down so much that it's constantly down. Right, so it's. Um, however, uh, with that survival check, uh, you, as you kind of glance up and kind of following some of the spread out sort of like breaks in the in the trees where you imagine people have walked out to lump, to actually you know do their jobs, um, you faintly see movement in the tree line, a sort of silhouette um, of a person. I'm gonna crouch in the tall grass. And uh, scoot up closer. It's not talking rest. It's overgrown, but it is forest. Bushes. Well, I'm gonna yeah. try to stay low. Yeah, I'm gonna go. crouch down like I'm a fucking animal. And okay, make a self check. Actually, I'll make one for you. What's your modifier? Plus three. Okay, so you move down, and there you avoid most of the twigs and branches as you animalistically start to stalk. Uh, how close do you want to get? Uh, about maybe forty feet out. 40 feet from it. As you yeah, begin to approach, you take slow, sort of like deliberate strides, trying to stay as low as possible, predatory, uh, in your attempt to uh, find whatever this is. And as you get closer, um, unbeknownst to you, as you kind of maneuver around low, you actually hear this heavy <laughs> right next to you as a dark skinned foot falls <gasps> right next to you. And you can hear this. And as you kind of like, Staying low, you tilt your head up a little bit. You're greeted by this sort of overflowing form. Grass, almost like grass and dried uh, leaf skirt around these uh, dark-skinned, heavy-set jowls, large, toothy maw that's like uh, jagged but humanoid teeth, empty eye sockets, long, sort of wiry black hair, and it, in one hand it wields like an oversized club that's just matted with you know, spines and bones that have been sharpened, and it kind of stands directly above you with this sucking sound. I would like to take the dodge action. Not. Okay, so it stands there. Does not seem to see you. You can definitely see that it's looking for something. It's... And then as, as you kind of stay there, you hear another one from in front of you begin to walk past you, just lumbering past you, uh... And then you begin to see a couple more. There's like two or three that all seem to be moving towards the lumber mill. Oh, God. Okay. Who do you think Zongak is? I think he's playing in the woods. I don't know. Gonna... No. Did I see him leave? Once I see those ones moving, is the one still over me? Hmm? The one still over me? Yeah. Okay. He's just standing there. You can see that he, he probably caught the whiff of something, but he can't seem to identify where it is. Well, I mean, I think we can roll out now. Uh, I'm going probably. to get up. Mm -hmm. Oh God! Fucking dash <gasps> and just scream at the top oh, of my lungs. Lord. <laughs> you notice as uh, so you get up. It's still standing there. You're standing right in front of it, and it's just. Which way do you run to? And then as soon as you oh, as soon as you I turn away, know. you begin your dash. It kind of perks up, and then it and lets out this like sort of guttural like uh, bellow. Uh, almost like it's using that large maw of it to just like push air out. And as it does, the other ones begin to, and you see a couple more stand up, 
and all around you, you notice that they've been kind of sitting in wait, almost like they've been waiting to ambush whoever comes to, probably villagers, to come to work today. Um, which gives you the sense as you run that they are not wholly nocturnal. And you begin sprinting as a number of them. That thought is going through your mind as you're screaming is and playing a terror. Huh. Yeah. My word. I, mean, you're I, like, I just want to scream, this. found them. <laughs> yes. And just come for my friends. <laughs> ah. <laughs> um, I will say that the one in front of you gets a swipe. You took the dodge, but then you are dashing. Yeah. yeah so um, the... He went next turn. That's yeah. okay. It was a three, so you're fine. Nice. As, as you like run, you don't even... You hear the... <laughs> Um, but you don't even feel it, and you're just like, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> um, um, but there are a number of them. How many would you say are on it now? Good question. Yeah, we'll find out, won't we? Right. You'll we'll find out. Okay. So, uh, you guys all hear this uh, this very loud, Found him! Oh, he's just, having a great time. And you're, <laughs> <laughs> just like I'm going to make my way towards that. I'm going to yep. immediately head out that way, yes. and look around, and I'm going to hide in the nearest bush. Modifier? Five. Ooh, that was a really good... Uh, it, was good cocked one. Really good. it was a really good. It was cocked on a natural 20. Ah, uh, I'm going to follow him out and not hide. Okay, so you run to the center of the path. You move out, and as you see, you can see little uh, like glimpses of him darting as he like moves between the, the trees. trees and stuff, and then you instinctively just go <laughs> into the bushes and kind of get low and uh, pull daggers out. Song X to me! Um, <laughs> I see no X! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? We go hide next to the wall. Okay, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. That's uh, my pet name for you, so I'm uh, <laughs> What's your modifier? Eight. Wait. What? Yes. Eight. Eight. His expertise is. I don't know. Yeah. 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 You're both rogues. I would imagine. Oh, I, oh, it's stealth. This is plus seven for me, not plus five. I was thinking perception for some oh, reason. Oh, does that change? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it makes, makes it better. better. <laughs> Let me write down the stealth real quick. You He said seven, so okay. Yeah. Two and additional. Then yours is eight. Okay. Yeah, totally forgot. Because uh, everything else that I have that has the proficiency is five, mm-hmm. but the the stealth is higher. Okay, so um, as as yep. you see, right there. where are you heading? Uh, I want to. I guess I'm in like in the middle of the, the lumber mill, so I'll stay there. But Just like standing in the middle of the room. Pretty much. Uh oh. What was it? Oh, it froze. The chat just disappeared. Uh oh. Yeah, everything froze. Oh no, the whole thing With froze. Five viewers, no. Hold on one second, Ari. We may be frozen. We don't know. I'm checking chat. It's too Don't click on. Don't do nothing yet. Oh, Huso left. Oh, Bye, no. Huso. You, you broke it. Any Hold on. Yeah, we're, my my we screen is lagging frozen? right now, but it's still doing stuff. Or lagging. Yeah, just give us one second to figure out some technical difficulties oh, here. Yeah. It is having a fucking heart attack right now. Um, so, uh, as you see. I'm going to keep going just in case. Yep. Um, as you see Zongak uh, barreling down the pathway, you get there relatively quickly as you're just sprinting at full force. And as you do, you can hear, you can hear behind you this, these movements. Free heavy spray, football. Do, 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 do. Is it? That's what he's saying. Yeah, it looks like it. Wow. Yeah, Look at those are, frames. We are lagging out. We're Next slide, please. But that's the thing. is, I didn't even say we're dropping frames, so it's just my computer being up. Huh. Are we are we lagging out on there? Yeah, he's like free It's back. Right? Skipping and lagging from Huso. Oh, but can you hear us? One hey, second. How's the audio? Probably the same. Let me go see if I can figure out what's going on here. Hopefully not. Mm-hmm. We should just Yeah, the, the things aren't even popping up on my screen here. Okay. Yelling at you? All these, oh, uh, no. What's up? Wait, are you going to have to restart then? I hope not. Audio's fine. Audio's audio fine. good. We apologize for our jumpy, laggy. Oh, I'm just know. sitting here watching oh. myself go like this. It's the D and D slideshow. Very oh. slowly. Uh, no, I'm just moving very slowly. Oh, <laughs> you just have man. to be very <laughs> best PowerPoint ever, <laughs> says Steve. Oh no! <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. This has never happened though. Audio solid, he says. Well, that's. Oh hey! Oh no! It just has. It has moments where it's yeah. great. I know that's what. Okay, what's what are you doing? The dog even senses or something. Yeah, dude. He came out and was all like this. Oh my. Yeah, my computer's Go see Sam. I'm doing robot mode. I don't know why. It's never <laughs> like been like that before. No, it's not going to be fun. Well, like you said, if, if the audio is good, at the very least, they can just close their eyes and pretend like we're not. It's not that same. Oh. <laughs> That's right, a good so treat. Now so now I can seven if I can get it. I'm really sorry, guys. Just shy of taking it down, I, I, I don't know well, how to... Well, do you want to see what they oh, want to oh, do? Oh, Alright. Like, you see. guys get to just listen with a, with a jumpy, laggy screen? If that's... I mean, if it's cool with you, it's cool with us. 
Yeah, if, if that's fine, we can continue. I'm really sorry about the uh, the thing here. I don't know. Of course, it's got to do this on Tuesday, right? Yeah. And, like, near the end, too. Yeah, right. Like, Kevin right. isn't doing his goddamn job. Oh, no. <laughs> I like how none of that stuff is popping up in the yeah, chat on my end here. Okay. We got to get it figured out, though, because okay. well, we can... What we can do is stop here, go down for a second, come back up and do the talk back. Because I'm not sure the, the, the delay. Like, yeah, we could do that. Because I'm worried about missing a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So, all right, guys. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go down <laughs> for like so. We're gonna go down for a couple seconds and bring it back up and try to fix it that way. Um, but we're gonna do our talk back. So we're gonna. This is a good place to end anyway. Yeah. Like right before combat, sort of dramatic pause. Um, so thanks so much for hanging out. Next week, this combat is not happening. Because we're going to be edging right into the Halloween special, which usually involves shenanigans. So Fuck! prepared for a lot of fun. Um, um, where are we all at though right now in the? I am stuck in limbo. So uh, yeah, we're all. Are we all frozen? I can, <laughs> I can have drop. fun. What's up? Who's what now? See you, Huso. Oh, See bye, you Huso. Oh wait. Ah oh, shit. Forty. Uh, Forty left. What? Whatever. I'm looking at. Uh, somebody can tell Huso later in Discord or something. I'm looking at doing a. Uh, uh, Sub game, one shot. Some of these guys, uh, we're trying to get a good time and, and stuff set, uh, set up. But if you guys are interested in that, uh, Huso, Scuba, Rocco, um, just let me know a date that's good for you. You can put it in Discord and I'll take a look at it. Um, and we will probably do a Roll20 one shot uh, with some of the guys that can play here. Uh, I'll DM it and then you guys can jump in and play. We'll do however long, like preferably in a time in a, in a, uh, where we can run for an average four to, four to whatever there. hours that we used to play. So, so um, if that interests you guys, just hit me up. Um, I will send out some some stuff. It'll probably be set in Prune, so whatever happens will probably be canon to the story. Uh, we'll come up with the starting level and everything um, at that time. We'll probably roll characters up right on, on, on the... Steve's on it in Discord. <laughs> Already? Yeah, telling you so. So done. Oh, okay, cool. I'll so, yeah. Very yeah. Like, we, so we're gonna go down for okay. just uh, as long as it takes us to get this fixed, but then we'll come back and we'll do our talk back. Yeah, definitely. Really sorry about that, guys. I don't know why it's having a conniption. So I'll be right back. Okay. If I can get this to voice not, chat right. or just typing. For what? Whatever you're comfortable roll with. For roll twenty, it's gonna be uh, either way. You can do both or or neither. I will be or on both. voice. I will, will Most of us will be on voice, so you'll get to chat with us. Because we usually use text for sidebars and emotes. Yes. Or, or for uh, whispering to somebody. Mm-hmm. All right, so we were back, guys. Which I think I whispered to hey. the DM once wow. or twice. The late whole to the bucket. party, Kevin. <laughs> oh, was he? Kevin just posted for the souls that Steve like, asked hey. for. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, everything's 